All right, here we go again. How bad could it possibly be? Hmm. Sir Midian fell off. The yellow coping. All right, we are alive. Hey, Bobering, welcome to stream. And it seems you're first. Dagoth, welcome. Welcome, hey, Trips. Hope you're all doing well, doing well tonight. And hey, Neyuda. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing alright tonight. I think you're actually the one that suggested me to do this build. If I remember correctly. It was either you or... Someone else. Can't remember. But yeah, I'm doing it. Gonna invade with this building. It's it, it, it's a building. This build makes me so angry. Oh no! What what is it about it that makes you angry? Bungie has destroyed the game again. I I'm not surprised. The game went down for like God knows how long the other day. And so many enough to hear the mild, the mildly okayish. Hey potato girl, welcome to the stream. Over dinner that. You can hold that. Okay, my... I hate fighting that thing. It really doesn't have the range I think it does. However, it, I do have a hammer. Oh, that's a Nagakiba. Tell you what, though. Tell you what. Hmm. Cannon go, Bert. I gotta be careful though. Oh, that that does a lot of damage. Oh, that's that's my teammate gone. That didn't take long. Oh. Ah. All right. That's that's a pretty good start, I'd say. They seem to have turned off the damage resist for resilience and about 40 other bugs. Mm. That sounds like Bungie. Never even used the hammer, I mean the scepter. It, it's, it, it's a weapon. It, it, it has the longest reach out of the hammers. However, it's kind of mid. I was thinking it's the longest hammer by far. Yeah, I think it's got... I think the closest thing to it would even be... I think it's like... I think that's about the closest thing to it. Or Marcus. I just come to think of it, there are a lot of hammers I haven't tried. I'd go ahead and get, I'd go ahead and try them out. Get, you know, become the best hammer, hammer main there is. I think I'm gonna put this in my right end. It's gonna mess me up not being able, not being able to cast with it. Dylan, out in stream soon, fellas. All right, lady, appreciate you for stopping by though. I feel like that invasion set the theme for the rest of the stream. I feel, I feel so too. I feel so too. I'm scared. My head hurts if I move. Well, don't move, dude. Tell so you what you need to do, though, is go drink. If you, if you know your head's hurting, go drink you some water, and you'll be fine, then. Make sure you drink a lot of water and eat some food, because if you if you're hungover or what or whatnot, you gotta get some. You know, you gotta get something to like get the or flush you out. Plus the alcohol from your system. Both hammers are great. Hammers are so fun. I mean, sure, hammers are kind of mid, but they go bonk. They do go bonk, and they are. They make a funny noise sometimes. Don't forget about the weapon art. I think the resistance debuff is actually good. It might be good, however, it debuffs myself. So that's kind of something I gotta. As we can see here, this might might become a problem. Okay. He's got Moonville, so it may become a problem.
Come on. I hate that the dragon can actually hit me. Bro. Is that another Rent Faith build? That it is, Galen. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing alright, son. We're out here. Hey, uh, there's a dragon. There, there, there's, there's a dragon. I would, I would definitely be careful. My man's is addicted to the weapon art. All right, one down, one to go. I actually killed someone with the hammer. Let that sink in real quick. I killed someone with the hammer. Yeah, I literally couldn't see what was going on, and he definitely couldn't see. But hey, we gotta win. We won an invasion. I actually won an invasion with this building. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. I drink water, slept for two hours. I don't... I'll drink, ate some food, took some pills, and it still hurts. Well... You just gonna have to wait it out, man. And just wait her out. This buffs your magic and only attack by 10%. Does it now? Hmm. What inspired you to make this build? I also like to see the stats. Uh, Nayuda wanted me to do a cosplay of uh, Gideon. Also, yeah, the mind could use some work. And I only got the, you know, minimum int to use Comet. Faith, I just I slapped some faith in there just so I could have good scaling with the uh, Prince of Death stuff. Yeah, the mind is a little low, I will admit. The endurance is non-existent. And the rest of it's just like, you know, minimum requirements plus... Or minimum requirements for certain spells and whatnot. There are definitely better builds, but this is mine. I'm also not versed in the way of, uh, in faith. Hate the all-knowing scepter doesn't scale with faith too. I don't know why it doesn't, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, it literally just doesn't make sense as to why, like, it doesn't, you know? Because Gideon is an int faith build. And, you know, it, if it's all knowing, it's a. His, we his weapon is Scepter of the All Knowing. So he would know about everything and also be faithful about most things. So, like, why it doesn't have holy damage or holy ceiling? I feel like that would make this weapon a lot better. The old memory of Sword and Night and Flame. Remember getting one tapped and teabagged? Ah, good times. I remember those days. That's actually kind of like why I wanted to use the use it after uh, Dagon suggested it. It reminds me of those days. Those good old invader days. Getting one tapped by Sword and Night and Flame, spammed by Horfrost Zomp, and absolutely obliterated by Rivers of Blood. It was chaotic. Oh, and don't oh can't can't forget about the uh, death blight glitch. That was still around. Madness was at its peak because you uh, could actually stun like someone to death with madness with enough like faith in our kid. What else was there? What else was there? So no Moonville was actually broken. I'm sure I can think of more stuff. Like Moonville is still a problem, but not as much as it was once upon a time. Yeah, with the flame and then the whole squad of three people came in and teabagged me before getting shot by another invader with a great bow. <laughs> hey, at least the invader did you justice. But yeah, the thing, if it even looked at you funny, like you were falling over dead. Sword of Night and Flame is still ridiculously good. Yeah, it's still very good. It's just not as good as it once was. Then again, its former glory was... Well. As you know, it literally dominated every aspect of Elden Ring. Whether it be PvP or PvE. You can take a look at the uh, Yumpha God. And see how bad it was. It was actually like... It was so broken. 
And it wasn't even like the flame part. The flame part was still very good. It was good for like farming souls in the early game. And of course, you know, just obliterating invaders. But it was like, if you got hit with a piss laser or the uh, Baja Blast, that was pretty much, you know, Curtain's Call. Didn't matter. It's up there with things like Rivers of Blood and Moonville, maybe a little lower, it's just quieter. Yeah, people really don't know that it's still very good. However, most of the time, if you do end up seeing it, it's going to be like a power stance straight, you know, power stance. And uh, we all know how power stance straight swords are to fight. It was funny, my man shot them with the golden arrow arrows and all of them get yeeted across the room. <laughs> I'm surprised people knew about uh, golden great arrows back then. Because that was still when people were discovering everything. Like what was good and what, you know, what was good and what did the funny. It was a good time. It has to be power sense straight swords with 7 or 8 or east and now I have an Ash War that one-shots. Yep. It's ridiculous, man. It is so rough. That's why I kind of like, I thought about power stancing him, and then I was like, alright, nah. Nah, that would actually be way too easy. That would absolutely be way too easy. And of course, wouldn't look as stylish, because also I would, I would be actively hurting myself because I couldn't parry. Man's probably decided, hey, this is new, and just shot him. That's probably it. That's probably it. The thing with Rivers of Blood is that most people don't, you see, don't, don't know how to use it properly and try to use it how it was before nerf. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't know like there's a science to it nowadays. Like you actually have to think about it. One sword does just fine anyhow. That's right. So you don't need two swords to do the job of one sword. That's just overkill. And if you power sense it with a cold weapon, the fire damage on the basic attacks resets the sword of night and flame. Or the ba fire basic attacks of the Sword of Night and Flame reset Frostbite, so you can reset Frost whenever you want with the Fire Ash War. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of nuts. Like, hopefully Power Sense weapons get a get a tuning. Like, some sort of nerf. Like, Power Sense Straight Swords. I wish the Dual Naginata has just gotten neutered. Like, a single Naginata is not bad, but if someone knows how to use a single Naginata, they're going to be a problem. But dual Naginatas will actually just leave you in the dirt, no questions asked. So a mega cringe power sense move though, Rivers of Blood spamming the weapon arts, and also the HP of a fly, that's that's usually how it goes, because that weird stat investment. Cause you explain the science behind Blood on Step. Okay, so basically, like if you don't know, if you spam Blood on Step, you have less eye frames, however. You can roll catch Blood on Step with certain like longer reaching Ashes of War or longer reaching weapons. Like Like uh Like a Chilling Mrs. Whitehander will roll catch. Chilling Mrs. Whitehander. Kill. Like Chilling Mrs. Whitehander, I've roll caught it with uh, Unsheath. Unsheath will also do so. This is... That's a bull ghost mage. This is another reason I say, uh, street Like, carry weight should be tied to strength. Also, I think this is pretty much GG. Oh, he's at a, he's at a funny juice. That's a big boy still not. That's a... Feels so bad for you, Yeet. The spells. The spells getting used are so bad. Yeah, my man just chose the worst spells in the game to use. However, I will try to make it work. So I got that one guy with comment. Yes, if he was spamming it on you, then his iframes kept getting lowered. Yeah, no, if, if it's got like a longer delay and they like, you know, blood on step. You know, yeah, even Phantom Slash will catch it. Phantom Slash, Unsheath. Like, it was slower spells, I really wish I didn't do it in your bow only. If you switch the spells, no one will be mad. And then it wouldn't be faith faithful to the cosplay. Oh yeah, and there's also this thing. Karmic Justice. The spell that no one knows exists. 
Gideon is the definition of a glass cannon. A glass cannon that shoots paper bullets. Or paper balls. Venom Slash is a certified hood classic. It is one of the greatest. Like, it, it is one of the best Ashes of War for Pole Arms. I like using Phantom Slash with Nightwriter Halberd. It just feels right. I feel like it's lore accurate. Man, I can basically one shot with Comet, but if you catch him, he's basically dead. Yeah. That's pretty much like any mage. Like, actual, you know, an actual mage, not like a Bulgo mage. To elaborate on the Blood on Step Talk, the first one has 69 frames, each one after has 14, and it's a bit shorter distance wise. That's probably why. That's why. That's why I was able to catch it then. He's against a guy using dual curved swords and took half of his HP. When he hit me with a bun. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. You might be on to something, but how long does it last? That's like. That's the real big thing. It is lore accurate if you read the description, it was one of their old masters. Kid needs the quiet kid. He needs to stay quiet and quit talking. Think it lasts forever? Ooh, hold up. That's kind of spicy. Maybe like three minutes. If it's like three minutes, that'll be fine. And then Nomad, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing right tonight. 171 days. Only. <laughs> Only, uh. Ah. Man. Only 171 days left. Watch the DLC release at like 170 days. That's my guess. I feel like it's just the universe is just gonna let that happen. So as part of no way to appeal it. I mean, if you got on, there is a phone number that you can call. But however, the activity detected was, you know, raw, like not cash money. So I got you banned. If you wouldn't have teleported to the capital, you would have been fine, or the Ashen Capital, or if you would have gone and killed Malekith. So I don't use cheats. It's not even about the cheats. It's you know he made him he made a simple mistake that anyone could have made, and he had to suffer for it. Someone should have warned me about Tuesday. Yeah, I thought I thought most people knew though. Let me just go ahead and. Hello. Give you a little jump respect. Hello. Zip. Okay, hold up. It's a lot of mana consumption. Ah, he saw it. He saw through Malaz. Malaz in the seat. Come on, proc it. Ah, them couldn't get it off. Wait, did you actually get advice from Loss? Yeah, I did. <laughs> like Loss has given me a lot of advice, like thumbnail-wise, video-wise. Actually, he's the reason I have a uh, reshade. Someone's gonna warn me about Tuesday, I never knew. I would have almost say this right there in there to be safe. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I thought most people knew. What's up with Tuesday? Do they do a check? Yeah. Every Tuesday, they do a check on people's accounts to see if, like, you know, they're doing some funky stuff. And if you get caught lacking, then. Then, uh. You know, you're gone. Dunzo. Penalized. Change my mind, maybe that spell sucks. It. It has to be some, like, small weapons hitting me then. Eat, sing, FNAF, and muscle invoice. What do you mean by that? I'm, I don't know anything about Five Nights at Freddy's. I was I wasn't into it growing up. Funny thing though is that I've teleported, to, albeit accidentally, to Ashen Capital before Malakath and haven't been banned. I don't know then. That I, you might have gotten past. Did you go and kill Malakath before Tuesday, or is Malakath like still alive on that save? Like every Tuesday, every Tuesday of the week. Yes, every Tuesday. Didn't notice your video quality was up. Yeah, that's how, that's how you see like the uh, 
like the funky little, you know, edits, like the gas station edit. I have multiple saves where it's happened. Yeah, he, he must have got banned for something else then. I don't know then. Just doesn't make any sense. I'm still trying to figure out like what would have gotten you banned. The only thing I can think of would be like the Max Titanite slabs. If you draw if you, you know you gave yourself that. Or drawstream frost grease, I know that's the thing. What's in incantation that puts a blood flame on your body? Uh talk about fire silly sin? Like you know lighting yourself on fire? What do you think we might get in shot of the earth tree? Uh, allegedly there's a leak that says there's six new weapon types, but I don't, I don't believe that. I feel like we are gonna get, like, some new weapon types. Honestly, I feel like maybe we'll get some feet weapons, like, uh, like some, you know, something to kick with, like, either, like, a, like, feet weapons or, like, a, a weapons that's, like, you know, fists and feet combined, like, gauntlets and, gauntlets and leggings, or gauntlets and boots. That leak is 100% fake? Oh yeah. I know it's fake. But we're definitely gonna get some, you know, something new. Like some new weapon class. Imagine we get Bloodborne weapons. I would be all over it. None of that stuff and Dylan had dozens of ancient stones and dozens, do dozens of pre-crafted pots and set around his storage and he never got banned. Well shit, I don't know man. Did you have, you might have like left it running or it was mining Bitcoin on your system or something. This the fire is deadly sin. Blood flame triggers being patched. Yeah, that. If that's what you're talking about, that one's gone, gone. Like that one is no longer among the living. And hey, TJ, welcome to stream, buddy. Hope you're doing alright tonight. Excited for the new spells and new cats. Me too. I'm scared of what we're gonna see though, because if we might get more madness incantations, we might actually get a sleep family. And maybe death will get expanded on, because I think death is gonna be the primary theme. But if I just confirm, no, I mean, it's not me. Welcome to stream, bud. Hope you're doing alright tonight. Hope there's some more in, in faith stuff. There probably will be, if I had to take a guess. Since, you know, Mi I, I don't know, like, Mikkel is lore entirely, but it's probably going to be more intelligence-based, since sleep is based off of intelligence. However, there's probably going to be some death stuff, and death is kind of... I think death stuff is faith in as well. I'm not too certain on that, but... I feel like we're gonna get some more in faith stuff. Mizaki has his priority straight. Probably nah, <laughs> nah. I would leaving it run and change everything. Uh, leaving cheat engine running would actually would, it would get detected on your system and then <laughs> gone. Reduced to atoms. However, if it's like if you mess some stuff up on the install and it's like mining Bitcoin on your system, because I've seen like cheat engine that does have some bloatware with it. It might might even get you banned. I'm not too. It might get you banned. That might be what did it. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But that's my theory on it. We should get some pure arcane weapons. Honestly, yeah, like pure arcane. Even though we only have like one or two pure arcane. And hey, recap. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright tonight. The stream title. Yeah, the stream title. Uh, I know there was Sir Gideon fell off the all coping. Or it might have just been Sir Midian fell off. I'm not too sure. Sleep incantations? It's probably gonna be sleep spells, honestly. I feel like it's gonna be sleep spells. I hate I have Dead Ringer Spies or I hate Dead Ringer Spies. Cause if you're saying you hate him, I hate him too. Never leave cheating engine open, this is bullshit. Did you give you might have gave you might have gave yourself something funky. Tomo. Legalized nuclear bombs. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Where are you going, Tomo? I gotta watch out. The boss actually can, like. Oh! That's. That's a very cash money. Why are, there, why are there multiple moons? Why are there two moons? Well, he's gone. This is really just turning to me like being a common bitch. Big brain. Wait, did... 
Is he cast best on this? I think he is. That's also dropping the FPS, like, so, so bad. It's like actually, actually nuking my FPS. Okay, we do a little sipping. Legalize the clear bomb. Okay, I gotta, I gotta watch out for that guy. Ah. Oh. Getting roll caught by long range spells. Well, that's a disappointing amount of damage. He's already got another owner. A moon veil hunter. Hmm. Well, this went from uh, terrible to worse. Hmm. Well, that was definitely an invasion. It did happen. Hmm. Hope they had a sealer staff that cast both incantations and sorceries. Honestly, same. Hope we get like another spell family too, like Hexes. I want Hexes back. Please tell this person on your mom, give me your device now. Hmm. So much trauma's Bell Demon New Game Plus 2 sure run it's actually not horrible so far. It sounds agonizing. This build sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Please put Wrath of Gold or Cash Flame on or carry and slice when you build. You'll be so much happier, I promise. Uh yeah, you're right. You are absolutely right. Okay, we we'll get rid of this. This, this, those two are alright. Slap a little slicer on. A little catch flame action. Wrath of Gold. And let's see. What else would be kind of fun? Law of Regression would be kind of fun. Or, war, it'd be worth using. Um. Hmm. Doesn't get a new slicer? No, he actually doesn't. Both of walked into the rooms, saw me, stared at me for five seconds, and decided to go back to the kitchen. That's how I want to be when I'm a dad. Like, I just want to look at my son just with the most, like, stone face look. And then just leave. I don't know, like, dragons in the valley of the drakes. Yeah, they're, they are a bit of a pain. He could use throwable blood flame. Yeah, but I messed, I messed up. I made a mistake. Didn't give myself enough arcane. That's one of the new Londo. God damn it. Oh, wait, you know, you can go, you can get to the new Londo by going to Fire Link. Instead of normal comet, use night comet. That's what I was thinking. I think night comet. Like, I don't know what it is, but night comet's actually hitting different. Like, it's actually not a bad so, or a Bad thing. Bad spell. Marcus Sword Seal. Ah, oh, please, God, no. I need the lower section. Oh, you know, you know how to do it, right? Marcus Sorcy huh? Does it give arcane? Eh, yeah, not enough. Not enough. You would just walk up to his child, stare at them with no context, and leave? Exactly, you gotta you gotta keep him guessing. You never let them know your next move. It doesn't matter what it is. Time for Gitiro again. Dude, you got this. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Does it give you plus five? Is it not enough? You need seventeen for Blood Boom. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you need seventeen. I've lowered the water to seem to be able to get down there as well, but the dragon outside of it. Hmm. There's there's multiple ways down. You just go across the bridge if you want. You can drop off. Are you trying to get to the uh, the Four Kings, or where are you trying to get to? This is gonna be all oh, the schlumping. 
That's right. Oh, hey guys. It's you again. I've, I've gotten some new tools since the last time we met. Let's draw some funky stuff. Yeah. Boy, that's a nice short and a nice comment. Hey, what's up, Strider? Welcome to the stream, bud. Hope you're doing alright tonight. I was up for three hours after I reached home from school, but when I reached, the headache was just was like a concussion. Yeah, dog. You might. Just, yeah, I think you might. You might be sleep deprived at this point. Only use Scarlet only a couple times, but it's actually really funny if you sneak up on someone with it. It also does like negative damage, but if it does hit, it's kind of funny. Cause I mean, it is a free Scarlet Rod if it actually hits somebody. I think I'm actually embracing. I'm embracing my inner. My inner. In faith build. I think that was like an end faith build combo. You sold an item on the community market. Wow. Oh my god. I sold an item. I sold an item on the Steam market. Boys, we're rich. We're rich. Two end faith videos in one day. The influence is growing. No. No, trust me, this is not going to see the light of day. This will not be made into a video. Like a Scarlet Bologna, or Bologna does like no damage when we use it, but it one shots him when Malardia hits it. Yeah, like we get the dumbed down version of it, but when she uses it, by God, it's like an actual tactical nuke gets dropped. What happened? I sold something in the community market. I tried using Makiri for Gadichiro and I realized my biggest problem. What'd you sell? One singular trading card. For like two cents. I made two cents! Two cents off of a trading card. We're, we're rich, boys. We're living large and in charge now. I also got some new G Fuel. Huh? Well, soon. I ordered some new G Fuel. It finally came in. I got the, uh, the Crimson Tear flavor. I discovered the biggest millennia cheese ever. And what would that be? Please, God, enlighten me. That's gonna put your kids through college? Uh, exactly. The two cents? Those, those kids get a free ride? Or the Charizard card, and if you ripped it, I would. Uh, mm. 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 If it's an actual, like, authentic Charizard card, then that, that little shit costs your family, like, Thousands upon thousands of dollars. However, if it's just if it's just a regular card, then it doesn't really matter. When she uses her flower move, you run away and cast Night Maiden's Mist. It shreds her HP. My God, I feel like I've heard that before. Like, like Pestilent Mist back, like Pestilent Mist versus Madeir back in the day. Relates Fire Charge plus Blood Flame Blade. Now that's very funny. That's an old school combo. I don't like being in the Bellum Highway. One v one, little poison. Okay. Are you a bonfire duelist at heart, or are you a bonfire duelist that likes to heal? I mean, if you want to fight. Bro, I just, I just got here. I need to cycle. I have too many spells. Ooh. Oh, we're healing. Oh. Well, they lagged up. Alright. Let's do this. Be prepared for this bullet hill. Yeah. The 
funny. Oh. Make a thing of my left feet. However, that is a very long cast, son. Them. The raw tussy flavor G fuel. <laughs> Grody. Where do I buy it? Ripped to shreds, man. I was going to from trading. Yes, it's real, man. If you ah, dude, that's a lot of money going. Generally tired of this boss. Ignitro is not that bad, man. At this point, I'm gonna pack lucidity. Whatever I go invading. Lucidity. What does lucidity do? Wait, what? Actually, what does lucidity do? Just use Madness Bullets. Bro, I'm never eating the Rotosi again. Ever with the Hugs here again. I'm gonna let you sit with that one and think about it. I'm, I'm gonna let you think about what you just typed out. Cures medicine sleep. Oh, that's actually not that bad. That's actually that sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad for you. I guess it's because I fought Jetstream Sam, or I played Metal Gear Rising, and that really like contributed to me actually being decent at deflecting. Like I'm, I think that might just be what it is. Also, I do have a hammer. Like I, I, I kind of forgot I have a hammer. I can use it. It does kind of do some alright damage. Also, where are these guys at? Just because someone will have an easy time with the boss doesn't mean everyone else will, respectfully. Yeah, I guess, it's, like I said, it's because it's I've fought something very similar before. Like, Jetstream Sam fights just like an Ichiro. And by god, I have no hit Jetstream Sam. That hurts your protection when you get resistance for everything. Honestly, Great Magic Barrier is the way to go for me. Well, I don't know if it's called Great Magic Barrier in this game. I think it's all like ma just magic fortification or something. I'm still stuck on like DS or DS1 software and like DS3 software. Like in my mind, this item is still. This item is still like Great Magic Barrier and Sacred Oath. I guess I'm just a boomer. Barrier of Gold. Oh, that's what it's called. Hello? Are there any enemies? Are there any people around? Hello? Where's everybody at? I don't even- what, what catacombs am I even in? Where do you get the thing you needed to travel the void to actually fight the four kings? You gotta kill Sif. You gotta kill Sif for it. It's, a, it's called the Covenant of Artorias. It's a ring. It allows you to not be like zucked up by the, not be zucked up by the abyss. Just my 80 strength, and build and resorting inventory. Ah nah, I'm about to get my ass beat live on stream. DJ, no, stop, please, no, 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 you you stop that, you stop what you're doing. Yeah, now you gotta kill Sif for it. Dude, where are these guys at? Also, why are these guys on fire? Makes it so the void can't suck you. That's right. Judgment though, my boy Virgil. Welcome to the stream, hope you did alright tonight. We out here. I'm doing some uh, tracking of the hosts. Guess gotta go to DLC first and get funny cutscene or whatever. It's not funny, it's, it's, it's a very sad cutscene. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but you will probably cry. I didn't, but that's just me. Hey, there's enough already, man. No need for that stuff. You know what? Keep it up. Keep doing it. 
Bro, where am I? Tell you what, let's try the finger. I have a guess what it probably is. You might have seen it before. Need to get to Lando. Good luck. Godspeed. Oh! Oh! So this is where you were. You little teabag respect, little teabag of courtesy. I've given the courtesy enough. He's got Thor to run, he's a Chad. Absolute Giga Chad. Please stop. But hey, I'm gonna have people. You know what? No. I'm pissed. You know what? You, you get the staff. <laughs> you, you get the staff of the all knowing. The bad mages get the bonk. The bonk of the all knowing. The Alvin Ark woman Gideon quote. What the, what the big woman with the big feet? I don't, I don't, I don't know any quotes. Other than me, you know, the, the only quote I can think of relating to the Alvin Ark woman would be, the one time I said, "Big woman with the big feet," and then made like a Carl Weezer ass moan. Find the Alvin Ark woman. But on seeing Smo is not any better than God's can duo. Both kind of suck in their own way. I mean, I understand that. Like, gang fights in Souls games are usually some of the worst fights. However, Orange Sea and Smoke just has this, like, I don't know, they actually complement each other's moveset. They're, it's not too, too bullshit either. Really good soundtrack. This is really. I, I understand, like, you know. Once again, I understand why people hate Orange Sea and Smoke because it's a gang fight. But the soundtrack alone, you know, kind of carries it. Find the Albanark woman. Or what, do you want to do it in the muscle man voice or just a Gideon voice? At least make an attempt. Oh, that's that's a lot of people. What is this? Well, it's a really good fight. It's one of my favorites in the entire series. We do a little bit of this. Debuffing. Hey! You know what? Let's hit Johnny Dirt. Okay, but you know what would be kind of funny? That is certainly a build. He is using it. Oh, it's Cessus. Where's my wife? Wait, is that a Horlu cosplay? I think that's a Horlu cosplay. The bonk of the all known. Oh, that's one of our boys. We, hey, that, that's, that, that's, that's a fellow. Also, I am about to die. You know what? To the lava I go. To the lava, to the lava I was born, or from the lava I was born, to the lava I return. Got a lava or leave him. Also, I think this might trigger the, uh, infinite healing glitch. Not that I want that to happen, of course, you know, I would never want a glitch to happen, and it didn't work. Damn. After just killing all bosses in Bloodborne and Chicago, so basically I went to a new game and killed the Bloodstar Beast and got the Chalice and Farm, farm Echoes, hell yeah. I actually want to go back, go back in Bloodborne and use Chicago. This is like a, you know, a blood tinge building. Got the Lost Chicago, ooh, oh, he's upgraded. Got skin Duo, or Dowo. Or says probably much better than Force Can Do. Oh my god. They also look cooler. You need heroes driving me mad. I think it might be time to like take a break, man. You've been going at it a little bit too hard. Bruh. Tell you what, we do let's do let's do some funny. In faith understanding. I, I can't move. I literally couldn't move. For one, they can't reaction. Throw fireballs at you when you heal. Secondly, smooth, slow, smooth. Ah, 
Smoke is slow and more sun is fast, where the foreskins are both fast. Oh, yeah. And that, like, with that style, they complement each other very well. And you're given, you know, the ability to counter them with the with the environment itself. Or if they can get stuck on each other, you get teabagged. It'd be like that. I don't even, like, when I die, I usually just look over at Chad anyway, so I don't even notice. Both are bullshit, you just can't, you can't just cut or and stun her on. And, well, I suppose I've a to keep up. Kite, yeah, you can't just kite or and stun. You can just... Yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty much how you're supposed to do it. But if you, you know, wh whichever one's armor you want, you gotta kill them last. And hey, Duo, welcome to the stream, hope you're doing alright We out here, big gaming. Suffering with an in-faith build. I'm gonna take a break, I'm willing to destroy my controller for the first time, for this damn boss. See, now that's a sign you, you, need, to, you need to call it, man. You need to just take a break. You've been going a little bit too hard in the paint, getting a little bit too angry with it. It's time to chill. It's time to chill out, man. Call it now, we're gonna get a Dragon Boss to breeze it to sleep or death blight for DLC. I'm thinking maybe a Madness Dragon. And a Madness Dragon incantation. Because why not? There's already a crab that has sleep breath. See so yeah, they have the you know they have the files for it, so it can't happen. So pissed off by sudden Nero put my name Furry Hunter in Bloodborne while I was in the bathroom and got a finch and stole his arm. Good shit, Virgil. You gotta learn him. Learn him good. And I'm getting a phone call real quick. Alright, let me let me take this phone call. Alright, I'm back. I am back. What if they had crab sea breaths as incantation? Honestly, let us summon like a crab head to just like breathe sleep. I want a big bogart to get this deserved crab ending. One where it just opens up a crab shack. This in layer already. Instead of boil prawn, it's crab shack. Good thing I was starting a new game is me, Virgil. Uh, yeah. The greatest character of all time. The greatest character in all of video game history. Virgil from Virgil May Virgil featuring Virgil. In the game where, where Virgil hires Virgil's brother and Virgil's son to try to kill Virgil so Virgil can become Virgil. Her ex time is so bad for this and you even know from a pair of attempts at Eldering. It's, at this point I think it's like you gotta get a rhythm going because that's what I, that's what I had to do. Like my fight was too... When I first started my fighting style was like way too aggressive. And then I finally, you know, I gotta, you gotta have a perfect balance between aggress aggression and defense. A good offense and a good defense. And also hesitation. Hesitation is defeat. And yeah, I'm just, you know, Nichiro is a tough boss. He is a very tough boss. But there's a, there's a rhythm, there's a rhyme and a rhythm. I would love to have a spell that turns your head into a crab and breeds sleepness. Yeah, dude, give just give it to us. Give us the sleep crab. Man, struggling is overcome with eye like cancerous growths, turning into bloodborne dragon. And then we get a trick weapon for killing it. Tough boss is a guy who killed him in three to four tries. I uh, killed him in two. Not to make you feel, I don't want to make you feel worse, but but I killed him in two hits or two tries. <coughs> so there's the four kings, Seath guy, and the archives, better chaos. And I think but where's the last guy? Because it isn't there for him. There's a uh, Nido, the first of the dead, in the Tomb of Giants. You know where the catacombs? Yeah, all right. So in Firelink, instead of going down like towards New Londo, you go to the graveyard, and then you'll 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 find where the catacombs. Just go down that way, and then you'll eventually end up in Tomb of Giants. And that's where Nido is. Musashi. However, the problem with Nido is not that not that bad of a fight. Nido, the only thing you gotta worry about is uh, back his backup dancers. If you can, if you have a holy weapon, they're pretty much done for. However, if you 
No. I don't think it will. Yeah, no, if you have a holy weapon, you could permanently kill his backup dancers. However, if you just, like, put on Havel armor and just tank through everything, you'll be fun. And I know you have a funny bonk club, so you'll be good. I played Bloodborne, I killed the Shadows of Yorn in first try. I still thought they were a really tough boss. Oh, yeah, and that's what, you know, that's what I'm saying about Genichiro. Like, granted, it took me two tries, but it's still, like, I could see how it's a tough boss. It is a very tough boss. When are you going, to back, going back to play Bloodborne? Maybe try some PvP or some invasions? Honestly, I thought about starting up the uh, Blood Tinge build, maybe sometime next week. Because I want to finish up Sekiro. I want to finish up Sekiro, you know, get that out of the way. Then start up Demon Souls. And then make my way back to Bloodborne. However, I do need to do Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 first, before I do that. I want to play for the first time. Ah, oh, I got you. How about a Death Blighter Sleep Putrid Avatar for the DLC? I, I, I'm okay with it. Helly tree stuff. Yeah, honestly, hey, I could I could go for it. Give me like a death blight uh, tree avatar staff. But actually make the death blight a threat. L give me uh, the ability to scale my death blight. Because that's like the big killer of death blight, is it not having any way to boost the scaling on it? Or boost the uh, madness or the death build up? And it's like very, very low. This one's also like vastly easier than Elden Ring. Just become giant dead and literally not never have to worry about anything. Either do that or become Havel. Havel or giant dad or like the you know the end all say all or end all be all. If you counter someone using dual wield light weapons, use lighting body. You have the yellow version that makes you double spears bounce off of you. Yeah, I need to start doing that. However, the damage that uh, double Nagakibas do, or I mean Naginatas do. God, it doesn't make it worth it. it. Doesn't even make it worth trying to tank it. Because this thing's a three tap you. It doesn't matter like what you have on. Like you will actually just be delete deleted, gone. You can face take everything while in full levels. That too. You can also do that. Go look at monk general. All right. What am I looking at? Is it Fumo? What about Fumo? Don't need to roll out of the way, you can face tank it. Aw, oh, dude. Ah, oh, poor fucking dots, man. Poor dude. I hope she gets better for him. I really do. Dots is a good dude. He doesn't really deserve that shit. He doesn't really deserve it. I mean, granted, nobody really does, but... Well, that's just the way the way the world works sometimes. Is my brother in your server now? I think so. I think like your brother bounced out and then either like your brother stole your son's account or something. Something like that. Oh yeah. Yep, nope, there he is. It's your brother now. So text message they kill my favorite homeless homeless man in the weekly knife fight. Damn, bro. Not old man Jenkins. Not old man Jenkins. You'll be missed. Cassandra. Well, Cassandra, your time is up. Club! That's a club understander. Oh, no. Okay, this is... Oh! There was a whole lot of someone who got me. Dante is just sitting on Nero's... Just sitting on Nero taking over his account since punishment for not being as fun to combo with. <laughs> I think you stole my son's account. 
I think it might be time for you to steal it back. However, then again, I know you don't like any parental obligations. You were not one for parental obligation. As the song goes, I mean, avoiding, avoiding parental obligation. See those account like he stole his arm. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> that's right. You're the one to talk about parental obligations. Hey, hush, <laughs> hush. I don't have any kids. That just looks straight at Virgil and goes, he's just like me for real, for real. I mean, hey, I want to be like Virgil. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, cool. Oh, that's bleeding. So which guys should I go after the, because I want to save Sif for after the DLC. Uh, you'll have to actually open up all the deal, the, uh, the Lord's areas with, with the Lord vessels. So you have to talk to Front. Cause uh, the only way to get the only way to get two oh you already done that all right well yeah I would go to Duke's archives or Lost Sizelith. Ah, uh, take it easy, Lodi. I wish you luck. I wish you no bad luck with the uh, the Gadichiro fight. Even though I know you're just going to be giving him tips. <clears throat> but you know, the thing about uh, the Lords of Dark Souls 1 is that they're actually not scaled too bad. Like, they're all around the same scaling. So, like, you could go to either one at any level that you wanted to. And the thing about Lost Isleth is that if you give 30 humanity to Quaylag's sister, you can actually, like, skip half the bosses in, like, half of Lost Isleth. And so, if that's what you want to do, you know, you just, and of course, you know, Better Chaos is a gimmick fight, a very big gimmick fight. So. I think I just debuff myself. I don't think the debuff actually goes this far. Hmm. I see that that does not like stairs. I thought I actually spaced it pretty well. Do the bonking. What? I've been robbed. Ooh. I got robbed there. Okay, let's see. A little triple ring of lights up. Triple rings of light action. Because this thing does an ungodly amount of damage. Doesn't do poise damage though, and I. Oh! Gravity. <laughs> I've been taken by gravity. 
So how come when I just speak in Ichiro? They don't tell Nomad. And you can save some boy from Red Red? Yeah, that's how you used to save Solar. Did Dante say anything? Uh, something about your credit card being lost? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. Something about that. That's about all I heard. Don't know why, but whenever I invade, when faithful, it seemed to have substantially better experience than you. I, I guess you're just more used to the playstyle. Of course, you know, I'm a melee, melee man. And this is, you know, trying to adjust to like a weird playstyle, like a different playstyle. And yeah, Newton struck again. That's like some, something, that, something that'll just never change. Uh oh, Virgil's angry. <laughs> Virgil's angry. He's trying to buy more pizzas. I'm done. I think he did say something about a pizza. One, you know, I'm pretty sure. I think he said he was gonna buy me a pizza. I thought he said this was with his son's credit card, though. Not his son, but your son's. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try suffering in the Halleck Tree. Our counter-argument, we go for the funny. Update, the funny wasn't that funny. I'll get the funny. I will get the funny. Hmm. At this point, it's just sad. You know what? Yeah. What do you think of that one? Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm confused on the DMC universe isn't virtually antagonist. Uh, yeah, pretty much. However, it's usually like a demon or something. I'm, I'm literally about to enter this room right now and speak with him. Oh, no. Uh, but he's about to get his ass whooped. He got the funny on you. Yeah, he did get the funny on me. Was well, there a board? This is gonna be an interesting fight. Hey, you can't backstab that board either. So, uh, be careful. <laughs> blender. <laughs> I got put in the blender. Wait a minute, can I put... Wait, I can put the spinning weapon on, on the Prince's Death stuff. Hold up. Wait a minute. Imagine if you could infuse stabs. Like with whatever like elements you were trying to scale with, so it would increase the damage of that elemental spell. Yes you can, I forgot about that. I forgot it's not a somber weapon. Honestly, like I wish you could like infuse Gelmer staff with fire to make it do more damage. Like, you know, like the magma spells do more damage. Do uh like strength with like strength with the uh, meteorites. The meteorite thing, meteorite staff, whatever the hell it is. And the Albanark with the arcane. Like, I feel like that's a good idea. I... Can I hit this one? I just need to stop. I'm in Faith Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm in Faith Gaming. I'm in Faith Gaming. I thought I was about to watch something bad happen. I really thought I was about to watch something bad happen. Okay. Now he has the advantage here, I say. I, well, I, say. I say he has the advantage, however. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame him when to fight on even ground, because I am horrified. I do not like being in in any place where Isaac Newton can strike. If Isaac Newton can find me, he will. He will find me, he will destroy me. 
Come back. Come back, my child. I think I'm gonna try, try to go for a one more combo. Something funny. Is this is this really funny though? Was that funny? I think it was hilarious, honestly. Fuse Mist would be very viable. Ooh, that would go hard. Get the boar helmet, hell yeah. GG against the Guardian Ape. Thank you, Alternism. And welcome back, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright tonight. I want you to know that Guardian Ape took my soul with it. Like, when I finally killed it, when I finally killed it, I felt it just, it took my soul with it. I w I'm never gonna get that back. I'm never getting that back. Can I explain me to be nerfed? Absolutely. Like, it's it's a basic spell, yet it can absolutely just nuke anyone. It almost seems to be OP with, like, that with the Golden Order seal, that's weird. I think it has something to do with the casting speed. But it's not just the Golden Order seal, like, the... The giant seal also goes hard. Like if you do a dual giant seals in both ends, like a bunch of faith, it will probably do even more damage. The monkey took a piece of you away. You wake up in the middle of the night, like no, no. You know, see red main, red main castle. I sleep. I sleep. I don't think the giant still buffs it. It does, because it, it buffs uh, giant's flame incantations, which is pyromancy. Out of the back is 7 to 5 with Dante and a 1. Dante isn't going to use my credit card anymore unless if Dante has his own money. Well, it's not going to be your credit card, it's going to be your son's. Doesn't Dante have a job? Hell no. Dante is broke as fuck. Like, Dante is in lore, like, actually broke. He runs a business, it just doesn't pay well. Because he actually, in DMC5, he had the lights cut off. Think Nero's more responsible with his money? Well, it... no, if he's anything like Dante. I'm gonna go to bed now, good night. Good night, Dagoth, appreciate you for coming out, man. And sleep well. Atroxia. Those are words. I don't know what they mean. Hmm. Is he really though? Is he really? I mean, I get what you're saying. Hello. Goodbye. I got, I got sent home. I've been fog walden quite a bit. I guess that's an improvement. Are we going to be invading on? Uh, 152. 152. And I feel like 152 is like the only way I can make this stat spread viable. Or this, uh, this build viable. Cause like this weapon's not terrible, it has a decent AR, and it's also a very long hammer, so it's got that going for it. And it's got an 8 poise with it, because you know it is a hammer. However, the spells that Gideon uses, like my man's he just has the worst taste. Rune level 1's where it's at. On god, I I would go back to I would try to invade a rune level 1, just to see what ha what happens. Like, I feel like that'd actually be a pretty fun experience. The moment this semester is over, I'm going to make something cursed. Oh god. No, but just in a game, gaming. I don't know if it was an okay I got the stream or an okay fuck this game in stream. It was probably the latter. Did he beat Genichiro or no? Going up against the gnarly fans was it fun? Oh yeah. I love fighting like mega, er, mega meta boys. True Nero has responsibility with his money. I believe I'll believe that when I see it. People who work at Devil May Cry are Dante Trish, Lady Nero, Nico, and J JD Morrison. 
He got to Naked Genichiro and died pretty early on. Ah, damn. But hey, he's actually making it to the second phase, though. So that's an improvement, I would say. Dante is just straight up Nero's boss. So wait, you, you mean to tell me Dante is the one who signs Nero's checks? Oh, no, you, you know, they're they're forged. Some of progress, but I can understand he got frustrated. Yeah, he's doing better. He, he's doing better, I'll, I'll say that. Not ironically, yes. Hmm. So I'm thinking about hopping in the Colosseum. I don't know how good of an idea that is. And usually it ends up being a bad idea. Here we all Dante as Mr. Krabs. But why? Why? Dante and JD Morrison are the ones who actually won Devil May Cry. Everyone else was siren after. Pretty, wasn't that like the Lord and like what game was that in? One? Nero is Spongebob? I, it fits. It does fit. Did he recall I'll see him? I mean, hey, if you want to come through, we'll we'll try to run it. We will try to run it. <gasps> Wait. Wait a minute. It's got the thrust running heavy. It's got the thrust running heavy. Okay, so this thing may not actually be terrible. I'm marrying Spongebob. Well, congratulations. I hope you two will be very happy together. It was established in DMC3. Which is the first game in the timeline. That's right. Wait, how did these guys get here? Hello. Boy. Oh, my ass. Right on the rope connection, they love my brain in. Nice. Running Poke will OP for real. Oh, God, that's why the Morning Star is actually a pretty good hammer. DMC 3, 1, animated series, 4, 5, 2. I didn't know. Wait, 2 is after. When does 2 take place? Like, I thought 2 took place, like, between 1 and 4. Maybe I'm just getting that wrong. Probably getting that very wrong. No 2 is the last in the series because you start the game with what is now called Sin Double Trigger. Hmm. Wait, it takes place even after five? <clears throat> hmm. Hans. Oh, I think I saw this guy beat Lost Sass one day. According to the official website for DMC. The official writer for DMC. Huh. Hello, Hans. Hello. Let's go ahead and do a little debuffing. Hello, Mr. Bonfire Duelist. Ah, uh, bleed Zwyander. Ouch. Hmm. It's a Bonfire Duelist. Yeti Chugs. Which I mean, I really don't. Oh, I really don't care. It doesn't bother me. That armor, that armor just ain't do no damage. It, it's not very good, like damage-wise. 
But it is a weapon. It does exist. It, its weapon does exist. Should it? Probably not. Okay, hold up. I do have this. I mean, my man, did you gonna you gonna fight me or what? I, I didn't. I signed up to fight. I didn't sign up to like play ring around the rosy. That's more like it. That's more the spirit I want to see. That's more the spirit. In there. Okay, I got blood. All right. At least he got a little aggressive. I'll give him that. After a while of being passive. Apparently they just frequently debate making two outright just not cannon. I mean, I don't blame him, honestly. Like, it doesn't really fit in anywhere. I'm still waiting on DMC6. DMC6, if, if and when it does come out, it's gonna go so hard. Because if you take a look at DMC5, like, DMC5 is the peak of, like, Devil May Cry combat. Like, it perfected the series. Perfected every aspect of every character, I would say. Except for VEV, it's kinda lame. But then again, even then, he still plays very well. Like a very, you know, he's a very fleshed out character. With very in-depth mechanics, well... I say in-depth mechanics, but they are in-depth on paper, but in reality it's just... Sit at a distance, press two buttons, win the game. Going mad, I got to, to Genichi Ro phase 2 for the first time, and now I'm just got what? Ah, damn, no bad. I'm sorry. But hey, you're improving though, that's that's something. You're getting better. That's, you know, I would just be glad that you're improving. Because eventually you will overcome that hurdle. Turn out the Yamato Mato and Eldering and it was motivated. <laughs> oh, it's it is one of the greatest things ever added. Like you can actually judgment cut. Judgment cut, do you know you can do deep stinger, you can do like you can do Mirage Edge's moveset, Yamato's moveset, Beowulf's moveset. You can even do Nero's moveset, believe it or not. V got impeccable drip though. I don't know man. I don't know. I think Dante, or Dante and Virgil kind of beat him out for drip. I'd say Nero is kind of the drippiest character though. However, Virgil's classy. Like, Virgil's drip is classy. <clears throat> There's something about it. This is actually my first ever get good check in, like, one of the first from self bosses I've had such a hard time by. Well, mine was Guardian 8. And bury the light deep within. If everyone has a great drip in that game. And even then, if you don't like the drip, you can mod the drip. You can mod the drip, you can change the character to... You can change the characters to anything you really want. Like, the game is just so... Well, you can mod it. That's... Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Hmm. Are you fat rolling? Okay, hold up. So, we're gonna fight? Oh, yeah. No, you, you came to fight. So, what about your host, though? I kinda don't want your host to kill this dragon. Excuse me. It's kinda rude. I don't wanna fight. You at least, I don't, I don't want to fight you, I want to kill your teammate. Gilgamesh! Gilgamesh. Hmm. Oh, 
Please, God, no, not me. Not today. I want to live. Oh. Pardon me for wanting to live. I'm about to get that high society drip. Oh, God. I think if you got the choice to kiss Virgil or not, or kiss Virgil, you do it. Whether it was gay or not. I would ask Virgil to go work out with me. Respectfully. Wouldn't we all? Nah, dude. I would respectfully ask him to go work out. Listen to music. You listen to We Shall Never Surrender music, but from DMC4, but the soft part only. I do. I've actually recently started uh, playing DMC4 again. I've gotten to about mission 8 or 9. It's either 8 or 9, I can't remember which mission it is, but either way. Combat's pretty good. Not as good as 5, but still pretty good. Really should play DMC5 at some point? You should. One of the greatest games that ever exists. Literally one of the greatest games that ever exists. I'd say the top three games that ever exist, or the, the greatest games that ever exist would be number one, Devil May Cry 5, number two, Metal Gear Rising, and number three, Bloodborne. Yeah, workout? Nah, I'm talking about like actually pumping iron. I'm back for saying foot fetish. Well, welcome back, Minutes. You're just in time for the suffering. Just in time for the suffering. Can't do this fuck ass boss. You gotta know, man. Just keep at it. And you gotta think in your head, man. You gotta think. It's a rhythm. Genichiro has a rhythm that you gotta get down with the deflex. Like, count your, like you can count his attacks in your head or out loud if you need to. Like, one, two, three. One, two, three. Or one, two, one, two, one, two. Whatever the pattern is. Keep getting long arms in a future draft, second phase, and dying. Ah, that one's, that's just a straight up deflect check. That is just straight up a deflect check. I think it's like, what, six times in like one second? Imagine if every Souls character runs fast as Sekiro. I'd rather not imagine that. I already have enough trouble like running people down in this game, so... I really don't want that. Calm down a bit, Nomad. It, it ain't that serious. Like, it, it's a... Of course, you know, granted, I did slam my desk while fighting Guardian 8. But still, man. You, you gotta be better than me. The Blazing Paladin. Ah, yes. The Paladin that's blazing. The Blazing Paladin. So, what have you got planned for me, Blazing Paladin? A little bit of lag? For the usual? Oh, a, a lot of lag. Very high amount of lag. Hmm. Hmm. That certainly was a hitbox. That was certainly one of the hitboxes of all time. Sekiro's deflect is so good it allows you to be aggressive, hesitation is defeat. It, like, if you can deflect in that game, you're a god. Like, there's just no stopping you. If you can deflect the world, then the world is your oyster. oyster. But yeah, no, that's gotta be up there with one of the worst duels I've ever had. Just because the connection was just terrible. Hello, ball burner. I sure hope so. I mean, I sure hope not. Aight. Is it bad that I'm trading with a Zwihander? I'm trading with a Zwihander. With a mace. You know what, let's do some in-faith stuff. Oh. Okay. Good fight. Hope so. Um, <clears throat> no, you heard nothing. You heard nothing. You heard not a word. 
word was not heard. Yeah, another guy's Y hundred just wasn't doing damage. Like he was just actually doing negative damage. Well, I can't exactly call him misguided, but they shall soon know this devil's power. A power greater than they ever imagined. The power of a son of Sparta. Praise the sun! That's also when the, uh, evading parental obligations started. Hello. Ouch. So what's with everyone in the Claymore and Zwei under today? That's all I've seen. Like, I get a great- the Claymore is pretty much one of the best great swords out there. But it's all I've seen. I feel like that should have been a roll catch. That was a duel, it did happen. It was certainly something. But it, oh god. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, man, I think it might just be time to just take a break from it. Come back to it when you're not as heated. Because when you're heated, you won't play as well. Unless you're me, then you actually, like, damn near no hit Guardian 8. Yeah, no. I, you're gonna have to, like, calm down, take, take, you know, take some. Take some time off of it. Go relax. Go like make you some tea or something. Then come back to it when you're not seated. Because right now you're just gonna keep playing worse. You're gonna keep getting ma madder and madder and madder. And it's just gonna keep on escalating. So yeah. Just take some time off of it. That's, that's cool, Andy. The loser us. That's the spirit. Oh. Yeah, why not? <laughs> the trap I laid. The trap. The trap is set specifically to kill that duelist. You know that a philosopher symbol in each row is so sad. 11 vid and 3 AP. Oh, hey. Nice job, dude. Get close. I want to actually get to the point where I can flawless in each row. However, I forgot to learn how to lightning, lightning uh, reflect. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. No auto godfather. Hey, is this monk? Oh, if you want the hands? Do you want the hands? Standing here, I realize you were just like me, trying to make history. Try to win, I'm trying. This is my Rocky Balboa training montage. Okay, you know what I could do though? That would just be like an absolute dick move. <laughs> just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> Tell you what. It would be kind of funny. Guard counter. I was gonna put on the uh, the regen talisman. I think he's already got it on, or uh, the fist. Or he's just got so much health that it doesn't matter. Also, there's a lot of uh, raspberry jam in this arena. A whole lot of jam in the arena. Is this actually Monk? No, it's not Monk. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, you, you are breathtaking. Oh, look, where's this at? Oh, look at you, dropping prism stones. Behold, the blinding lights. I've been blinded by the lights. There's two men fighting like how God intended. With bare hands, the bare knuckle brawl. Alright, that's actually so bright. So, you know what? We made a friend in the arena. So guys, we did it. We ended toxicity in the arena. Give you a little chest to respect. Oh, look at him. Look at him. We made a friend. I thought it was Monk because of that drip. I've seen Monk use that drip a lot. I can do this almost kill second phase. Hey, you got you're getting better, man. You're getting better. What's that? Wow. Here, pick this up, pick this up, pick this up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. So I feel with the rage consuming. It'd be like that though. It I understand, you know, you get a little bit heated at the video again. Once you calm down, you'll uh, actually pull through. Calm down, you get you get a strategy instead of like getting pissed off and running in like a, like you know an angry bull. I've waited a little bit for this fight. So many of his attacks are one shotting me. We might have to go kill like a uh, lady butterfly. And get some extra vitality up. I don't know what it is, but the second phase. The second phase is awesome. Is that infinite radiate? Ah, that no. Just, no, this is this this is not how God intended this to be. What? Okay. That was a very fun and interactive fight. Still on long long arm centipede. Hmm. Yeah, no, you gotta be very patient with that fight. Second phase is tricky at first, but it's actually a fair bit simpler than the first phase. Yeah, the thing you gotta watch out for is the lightning reversal. Yeah, no, don't spam the giraffe because he will pull out like a six like a six or seven hit wombo combo. Die. Die, die, die. Hmm. Dual combat ordeal? Uh, I think I'll just do a single life. Just a one and done. Because this build's kind of kind of poopy. What's your light level in D2? I think I'm at about 1800 on my Titan. And welcome to the stream, Lightmaker. Hope you're doing the right side. Look, wait for one second to see him HC back and you what happened. Uh, the natural order of things. Since reflecting until his posture's broken, that's what you gotta do with him. Ouch. Ouch. Oh god. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of... A lot of damn good. Ah, and for it. Do they spam me? They not only spam me, they put me through a fucking blender. I actually got like... I got wombo comboed. I uh, have dual unlocked. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just do combo deal then. Combo deal limb grave, I guess. 
Password deeper than usual. Alright, let's do it. Agony. Yeah, that's... That's the Coliseum experience. Alright, this is... this is gonna suck. Wonder what that's gonna do though. I can't see. I I can't see, I can't tell what's going on. Hmm. That's, that's some perfect connection right there. Yo, I do have this. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I also forgot to have this. I think it might be time to take this build back to the drawing board. Hmm. Because my boy Sir Gideon, the all coping, uh, they should not have let my man cook. Because he's got a perfect picture of a red knight, red and red man knight screaming, and the other using lion's claw midair. That's actually badass. Oh. Simply ignore the spell. Ah. Ah. We do a little suffering. Just just a tad bit of suffering. Just a little bit of suffering. I think I might need to just like get Dagos build and just roll with that. Call it the Gideon off your build. Finally got one on the board, thank god. Elden Ring have become a Katana understander, hell yeah. You're on your way to greatness, my boy. A little bit of flawless Kanichiro part, first part of phase one. Hey, you're getting there, man. You're getting there. You're getting better and better. All it takes is just practice. Practice and improvement. And you'll get there, man. I'm telling you. Just stick with it. Again, you know, take a break when you feel heated. Just, you know, there's no... There's no pressure on you. Oh. Scepter of the All Coping.
Stand your ground. Hesitation is defeat. Hesitation is defeat. It applies not only in, El not, not only in Sekiro, but in Elden Ring, too. Hesitation is defeat. What? Ax the men is to win that. Damn, good fight. GG. One more. Alright. Alright, we'll set it back up. Hesitation is the eat. Hesitation is the feet. You keep getting hit once or twice. So, hey man, you get, you're getting there. Slowly but surely, going for the flawless. That's a very generous sit box, I would say. Send it to him to where I beat him while taking one hit, so sad. You're getting closer. You're getting there, man. You're getting there. Invaded by Glow Mod Queen gets one shot in. I'm still wondering, like, what? Who is the Glow Mod Queen? Because we have no idea, like, who it is. A lot of people think it's Melina, a lot of people think it's Ronnie. It's probably going to be some like, separate entity we see in the DLC. Hmm. Must just put down the controller. We know who it is, Potato, how many times do I have to tell you? All right, I keep forgetting. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting. Really bringing out the fun build tonight. Talking about it wasn't me, I swear. Ah, uh, don't worry, it was you. I know. I know it in my bones. That a tarnish could be the glow mod queen. Wait, you you did it? You did it, though, man. You did it. You did it, my boy. Good job. You finally did it after all this time. Let's get ready for the Guardian hit. That's a free 500 damage. Can we get some W's in the chat for Nomad? Because my man's deserved that. I know how bad that actually like, pissed him off. Teabagging this asshole. He doesn't deserve it. However, it is your victory, and you did earn it. You did earn it, my man. Good job. Open does damage. <laughs> you got an ad in the chat. Is it still alive? Uh, good question. Good question. 
I think it's because he like gave himself over like a food of the Tomo, so it gave him the ability to resurrect. Kind of similar to like uh, the Dragon's Blood. However, albeit a bit different. Yeah, that was certainly going somewhere. Great boss, best, is a, best design ever would fight again. I absolutely would fight against Nitro again. Like, it's just a fun fight. Granted, you might not think so. Hesitation is defeat. Waterfall is so satisfying to kill someone with. Which waterfall? The uh, the flowing aspect in Sekiro? Oh, and never mind. are actually playing Elden Ring. If I must everyone they hate a boss, I must kill them, they call him the best boss ever. Literally me. Alright, GG. That was a fight. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't enjoy it, but it was a fight. Now some aspects were cool. It was Genichiro was such a good fight, man. I would I'd love to experience it again for the first time. You earned of that coffee. You did. Go get your coffee. Go get your coffee, man. You earned it. Sorry, little one. Don't be sorry. This build is just complete ass. However, it is kind of funny when it works. Like, I think in Faith is cursed on stream. I don't know. I'm going to have to fight him again at the end. Yeah, it'll probably be it'll, it'll probably be better, Nomad. Miss Funk. But hey, you get to see her again, though. You get to talk to her again. It's only his first phase. <clears throat> oh yeah, and first phase is easy. Hello. Galpy. See, I say no. Ouch. We just go through all my spells. Excuse me, let me... Pardon me. May I play the video again? I miss. This is certainly an invasion to this happening. Oh. And they actually got a hunter. Hey. Hmm. Interesting. Could have used the lighting thing in the fight, it just dodged it. Yeah, me too. I looked at the instructions, just it was basically like throwing away the instructions to a Lego like a Lego set. Also, where'd they go? Did they fall down here too? Did you fall down? You know what? I'm hiding here. I'm hiding here. Have an ISC time tab open? Aw, oh, look at you. Waiting on your friend. That's adorable. However, what's not adorable is this fucking invasion. This is... This is pain. Ladies and gentlemen, the bullet hell has gotten worse. That has some very generous range, I'd say. Well, generous is generous is putting it lightly. Maybe 
though this is 1.4K on Heavy Ash on the stream setup. Damn. Hey. I only have three gourds. Hmm. What do you have, the three gourds? I don't know what happened, but Elden Ring PvP suddenly got so much worse. Yeah, it, it feels a lot worse than it did once upon a time. Like, God, this is actually pretty rough. That giraffe? Yeah, no way. You have three gourds of giraffe, my man? Hold up. <laughs> what happened? Wait. Is stream dying? Is... Wait. YouTube's not currently... Uh... Can you guys hear me? Hello? Not on my end? The... Stream good? I think YouTube's just tripping out then. Huh. Because all the annoying sweaty players have stopped playing. Because none of the annoying sweaty players have stopped playing for the time to the DLC. Hmm. Yeah, no, it keeps saying, like, stream is about to reset. It's, it's scaring the hell out of me. We need your stream looks fun. The stream, I, YouTube's having a fit. So is it a fit? It's having a, is it having a fit on your guys' end? Like, your stream, like, perfectly clear. Like, stream perfectly clear, like, no, you know, no big, no big issues or anything. Like, no big cutouts. Screen's good? Hmm. Well, I don't know then. Strange. Want to get, like, eight people together? And we can, we all play Raft together, but I have it, but like don't don't like it because I'm lonely. Honestly, Raft just doesn't interest me. I really don't think I'd have fun on it because those type of games just can't keep my attention. Stream is perfectly clear. It's just on your end. I guess like YouTube Studio is just freaking out. I think I had four gourds when I was at Centipede Raft. <coughs> I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I had four gourds. I know I know I had four gourds at Guardian Ape. But past that, I really don't remember. Pretty sure I still. I think I. I, I know I have five now. I don't think I found another seed. It was good to finish this goal after having a shitty day at school. Well, hey, man. You did it. You'll never have to fight him again until you do Game Plus or something. Congratulations. You did good. You did good, Nomad. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. What has he got? So made fun of someone they shouldn't have made fun of in my school. Uh oh. That's just kids, man. Kids are cruel. Kids are cruel, nomad. Ruko and Shinzu. So we got Bulgo Katana Mancer. And Oh, that's the river we have rivers of blood at home. Not about that, I'll phone you, is it? Why does it do so much poise damage? Bloody finger, Mr. Child. Hello. Also, oh, we're getting to the smooth jazz bass line from our boy Kelpie G. Oh, that's fucked up, Nomad. That is. That's. That's. Actually fucked up, dude. Yeah, those kids went low, but you shouldn't go lower. Be better than them. Hey, teamwork. 
Good job. <laughs> Bro, my teammate's a goat. I was running. Bro, who was that? Was that another YouTuber? I think that was another YouTuber. No, that's just somebody who was goaded with the sauce. What's wrong with people? I can tell you what's wrong with people. It's kids. Kids who haven't had, you know, good raising or haven't had any morals instilled in them. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, man, but just, you know. Hmm. That's f that's it's fucked up, brother. That's fucked up. Just keep your head held high, man. Just know that what they say really doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. Bruh. Yeah, no, again, it goes back to the kids are cruel. Like, kids... Some kids are just innately cruel. And... Like, that's just the long and short of it. Kids being pricks just doing it for attention. Yeah, exactly. Carnix gets it. And welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright tonight. You kind of came in on a little bit of a somber discussion, but. Yeah, no. You're right. You're absolutely right. Like, you hit the, the nail right on the head with that one. The kids are cruel. Young kids are cruel. Whether they're doing it for a laugh or what? Some form of, a, you know, some form of attention. Or shitty parents, poor morals, etc. Yeah, any of those really. Any of those. You have, and even if I'm not talking about kids, I'm still saying kids. Yeah. So glad I'm going to public school. I'm glad I'm done with school. Like I'm glad I got out when I did, because I actually I went to a pretty, a pretty calm high school. Like it was pretty chill. No one, you know, no one messed with anybody. Everyone just kind of did their own thing. Went about life. You know, I, I, I was cool with everybody. Like, everyone was cool with everyone. Like, there were, were certain people who didn't like certain people, but... I mean, they, you know, when they got they had their differences, they fought it out. You know, just went out in the parking lot and just fought it out. But I was cool with everybody. Like, I never really had many troubles with anybody. Only got into one fight, but after the fight, like, we were... We were, you know, cool as could be. And the one fight, like, it was a, I'm told, but it was a brawl to end them all. I mean, dude, like, cheap shot at me and about broke my nose. So I just tackled him and just beat the hell out of him. And we just went, just went at each other until I got pulled off of him. That's the only time I've actually been in a fight. Because every other time, I've, you know, no one's wanted to fight me. Because no one's had a reason to fight me. Yeah, no, I, I, I was chill with everyone at school. Like, I could probably, they'd probably say, you know, I was a little bit of a weird kid, but... Hell, I just didn't, you know, I was the, I was the fat kid. I was the fat kid in school, and I didn't talk much. But I was also the smart one, so everyone kind of respects me for that. DMG, alright, I'll, I'll check it in a bit. Evil is rooted in human nature, we cannot separate it, be separate from it in this life. I don't think humans are innately evil, though. I think it's the surroundings that make them evil. We had something like that happened in our school a few days ago. Someone was picking on someone else for something they shouldn't have, and they got hands thrown. Not 100% sure what the one kid was picking on the other one about, but from some of the stuff I've heard, it was not good. Teacher tried to break it up, and ended up getting shoved and dislocated her shoulder. Yeah, you fuck around, you find out, my man. Like, you, you don't get involved. You let them get their looks in, and then when they finally, you know, get tired out, that's when you, that's, that's when you get involved. Oh my god, it's death. It's, it's Puss in Boots death. Whatever. I'm dead. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you two may, be, may have been the weird kids in school, but... 
Two of the coolest people I know, so. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's that's fucked up, no man. Evil is an abstract and subjective term. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm the weird kid. <laughs> we are based. Some more than others. I've been called base, but in like not the way that you know the internet means it. Well, you guys know what I mean. Based, not base like Alex is based. I've been called base in another way. Cause I just I, I don't care. Like I I don't have any not a care in the world. No, every man and woman child is evil inside them, but good can come from out evil places just because evil is our nature doesn't mean we can't do good. We should all strive to do good. Yeah. And I, you know, I try to be good and I try to do my best. I try to be better than, my whole ideology is to be better than those who came before you. That's why I just try to, you know, treat everyone with respect and be as nice and open and honest as, with people as I can be. And granted, even if some of the stuff that I'm honest about, they might not like, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's our truth. What the fuck is this guy, philosophical shit? Hey, we, we're talking about philosophy and whatnot. We get, we're getting a little deep on the Frozen Eat channel. Someone's getting deep in Yida, right? <laughs> I mean, what? So my dad says, I hope you end up better than me. And that, yep. And that's that's what I hope for you guys, too. You end up better than me. Treat people like you want to be treated plain and simple. Remember everything you put out comes back tenfold of good or bad. That's right. That's right. No, I, I got you, I got you, your uh, situation situated, Nomad. What happened while stream gone? Uh, reset your YouTube app. No, but that way too many, way too many people forget the golden rule. Exactly, exactly. Silver silver bullet ornament or silver bullet is the best crimson ornament? I don't know man. Let me let me take a look at silver bullet real quick. Cause no crimson has like a really nice ornament that I like. He's a rare streamer who's friendly to his viewers. I try to be friendly to everyone I come across, because you never know what someone's going through, and there's no there's no reason to be an asshole to somebody. You know? 
you never know what someone's going through, you know. Like, you could say this, you could just say something wrong to them, and you know, that could really deeply affect them. And so I just try my best to, you know, not be an ass. Silver bullet. I don't know, man, I'm more of a fan of uh, Black Death. Black Death looks really nice. His ability to interact with us all at one. Uh, with us all because there are like a hundred of us speaking to him once. Speaking to him at once. Yeah, well, hopefully. I mean, I mean, I enjoy how it is right now. Like I, I you know, enjoy interacting with the community and whatnot. But of course, you know, someday this is probably gonna have to end, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna go bigger. It's gonna get bigger. Hopefully, though, that's that's the goal. I'm getting invaded by PS Shunter. A uh, power sense Shunter. I'm scared he didn't see me. Dude, J hide. Do not move a muscle. And welcome to the stream, NGV. Good good luck, man. Good luck. It's like a fancy s silver blood looks. A silver bullet. It does look drippy, but I'm a fan of Black Death. A what? A, sh a what? Shunter power stance. Shunter, dual shunters, or dual serpent hunters. More like it. <clears throat> hmm. Hey boys, new vids kind of popping off. It's my number one vid. Number one performing vid for uh, the past 10. So that's pretty good. Let's hope I uh, still have it in me to invade. Kill. Hit. <laughs> Behold! The funny! I couldn't get to my spell. That's Power Sands Great Spears! We don't mess with that. Behold, he's going for the free win. Behold, the impaling thrust greatsword. I'm dead. The notorious for sweating an entire ocean whenever they play. On oh, God, on oh, God, like they like Shunter players are so sweaty, especially when they start like wave dashing and shit. Like it gets kind, like it straight up gets rough. It, it it really gets rough. Coffee is so good. I wonder what a shun I know what a shunter is. Like, is power stance shunter like PlayStation shunter? No, no power stance. PS means power stance. If you ever see someone say PS, then that means power stance. Like P uh, like PS GS is power stance. Great swords. Uh, you know, like PS Shunter, that's Power Stand Shunter, or PSSS is Power Stand Straight Swords. Lucky Pants with the Crimson is meta and PvE now. Hold up, wait a minute. My time has come. What is this? I'm gonna do a great spear build for the funny. Hmm. <laughs> Man, please don't. Actually, if you do, do a singular, singular Great Spear. Like a singular Lance or a singular Silurius tree. Virgin Shunter versus Chad's Ruler. Don't even talk to me about the Storm Ruler. The Storm Ruler is a beautiful weapon. I want it, I want it back. I want it back. I'm dying due to have having lack of Discord. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Would you prefer tea or coffee? Coffee. Absolutely coffee. Tofu the soy. I see your funny elemental damage and say no. Tom Riddle. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. This thing doesn't do any damage. Hey. 
Oh, that's got some range to it. Okay. I blew myself up with a flask for a quick escape. Godspeed! Coffee is yum yum juice. Yeah, however, water. Gail's right. Water is. Water's good. Water's the best thing that you can put in your body. At least have servers, man. We'll just start leaving servers, man. Or just stop spending so much time on Discord. This guy needs some problems. I also compelled you to do this build. Uh, I knew you'd ask me to do it, so I did it. If someone asks me to do a build, I will, you know, do a build, even if it takes me a while to get there. Coffee isn't even on the list. Hmm. Can you put Gargoyle Wind Wave on the Claymore because it's be essentially the ruler? You can. It's Vacuum Slice. And Tom Riddle's from Harry Potter. I knew it was from somewhere. I, I didn't think, I didn't know if it was Harry Potter or not, and that is... Hello. Hello, guys. Stormlock. Stormlock Axe. So let's say hypothetically I were to just go back up. Send you up. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Also, I feel like neutered without a parry tool. It just feels wrong. So the next stream needs to be Vacuum Slice Ruler Gaming. Yeah, but the problem is, is I can't actually use the Claymore right. Like, the Claymore just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel as good as it once was. It doesn't feel as good as Dark Souls 3's Claymore. See you later, stinky. I don't open the map on PS Sekiro, uh, go to like the travel destination and hit triangle. And that's how you do it. Don't mess with any and all drugs. That's right, caffeine is technically a drug. However, damn good drug. Hello. I honestly at this point, like, I know I'm not gonna win, so I'm just here to like cause problems. I'm just absolutely being a pro like I'm being a problem. I'm just being like a gnat. I'm just straight up being a gnat. Like I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna win this, so I'm just making it as painful like as painfully as possible. Come out vacuum slice on a great sword wearing the lion shield lion set with a parry shield, secret dome. Secret too. Where'd you go? Where'd everybody go? Go. Go. Literally no health and lived. I'm I can be slippery. Like I'm actually a slippery slippery little bastard. Don't wanna go in Sempo? You just keep going up in Sempo. Clay feels fun, then I probably play DS1 over DS3. DS uh one Claymore is alright. Like, you know, Claymore is Baymore in that game. I just don't know, it just does great swords just don't feel good to me. Like, I just don't like using them. Granted, my favorite weapon class is katanas. So that would probably explain a lot. Well, let me just come in for the sneak kill. Hello. Kringy. Oh. Well, it'd be like that. Honestly, how did you kill me with that thing? Through sheer, f the sheer force of will and determination. 
Anything is possible. Did you put his word debuff on me? I, I I did put it on you. It didn't do much, but it 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 was certainly something. It was certainly something, I'll tell you that. You just wanted every use the Claymore, I'd pick Pyromancer and speed run to the cemetery for the Claymore. My man. My man. He just like me for real, for real. Because why hinder in DS1 was just so, it was stupid good. Pyromancer in DS, Pyromancer in DS1 took no stat investment, so you were pretty much, you could do whatever you wanted. You could be a strength Pyromancer, you could do a mate, you could do Pyromancer along with magic. You were really just able to do whatever you wanted with it. Final boss, 150. Now is this, or is this not, a gank? That it is. Hello. Okay, and you know, a, a fight of honorable men. Put this little fat debuff on you. It hurts me to see like that's actually not punishable, like not very punishable. That's not an arcane build. The power of intelligence and faith. A strong faith, but also a strong mind. Killed something with this thing again. This place wouldn't actually be a bad idea for a dueling arena. Honestly, we could do it for a fight club if you wanted. Like, I feel like it wouldn't be that bad of an area for, for a fight club, however, it's a simple fact of the matter. You just walk up to him. I'm getting this elevator. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. No. No, you no, you go to the hole. I, I honestly I don't blame the summon or the phantom or the red. I don't blame the red for going on. Hang on, I gotta go sort through my inventory. I gotta go through everything I have in my, in my entire inventory. Okay, I need to actually sort my inventory. This might actually be a, a call, like a, a, a sign to actually go and sort my inventory. Again, I say it, I think poise should be tied to strength. Because that man just had unlimited poise with a katana. Phantom Tree and Lando is also good. Ooh, I didn't think about that one. This used to be a popular dueling spot for much RRP gamers until the Stormbell Rap Rampart Arena was found. Or popularized? popularized? Where, where exactly is that at? I don't remember where that is. It's about the broken bridge. Oh, you just gotta like, climb on top of the building. Yeah, no, the reason I always do, like, Forlorn, Hell, and Evergill is just because it's, you know, right at, right out of the gate. You can just get to it. Like, you can just get to it straight away. No no hassle, no nothing. And I know a lot of people on PC make the characters with, uh, you know, make the characters with a cheat engine and whatnot. So, it's really not that, you know, it's only a hop, skip, and a jump for them. Also, if anyone's in like New Game Plus or anything, who has been tied to strength instead of armor is one of the best things I've ever heard of. Isn't that quality better too? Exactly. And also, it would like get rid of like poise mages, poise like poise katana users. Like it would do. Honestly, I feel like it would be way healthier for the game to have it tied to strength. Just like like you know, big weapons need poise, need big armor. Like the more carry, more strength you have, the more carry weight you have. 
I feel like that's fair. You know? Because what, what business does a mage have wearing, like, big boy armor? They have an infinite poise, and yet they could still do an, an ungodly amount of damage. Or, like, in that situation right there, I was sitting in with a hammer, but he had a tiny weapon. Like, granted, I was, you know, kind of poisoned. Poisoning even with a hammer, but... That's a case of why I think, uh... It should be tied to strength. And it would make people think about stat investment a little bit more. Instead of just pumping endurance for it. Poison tied to strength would just make strength even stronger than it currently is. Not much to really com compete. Well, at the end of the day, though... I still personally don't think it would be that bad. Hello. I feel like it would be alright. Like, strength really wouldn't dominate. As much pe as people think it would. Hmm. I am getting solid on. I have been solid on. Power says Lance is shown through in Shamsu. Shamshiro will become the only setup overnight. Ah, yeah. There is that. When they tied it to strength in the test, I think it was too overwhelming. Hmm. Now you've got to parry a shunter. I... Some of us, you can parry a two in a great spears, it's just the timing is really stupid. Like, it's a very dumb timing. So to play with y'all again. Oh hell yeah, man! Yeah, the fight club—it's gonna be lit. Well, actually, no, it's on a uh, Saturday. What are they talking about poise? Uh, poise? No, we're talking about poise still being tied to armor, but it being the strength being tied to carry weight. Never even saw it coming. That is actually some depressing damage. That damage is more depressing than my parents' marriage. Yeah, this thing should do some holy damage. Give it like a face killing. If they did up a strength, they would do some of the things with their sets. What do you guys think they should do with that then? If they did strength with carry weight. What do you guys, what do you think about that, Gale? Or any of about anyone else? Like, what do the stats, or bonuses go the stats get? Tie poise to strength, roll distance to dex, make, make it so you gain less souls, slash runes, slash whatever when, when you have high end, to encourage you to change your fucking build. <laughs> ah, my man. He gets it. He gets it. My man. 99 dex and 99 strength. Okay, yeah, that becomes a problem. However, that's only a problem at, like, higher levels. I think strength should do 4,000 damage. You know what? Fair enough. One thing I do have to say, though, is I, th I do think spells should take more stamina. Maybe better running speed with dex. Or to reduce stamina costs. Yeah. Something like that. But I still do think we need, like, higher costs for spells. Like, common and whatnot, so people just aren't sitting there spamming it. And so I think Moonville. I think Moonville might need a nerf too. I think we need a reasonable level cap, actually. They benefit PvP and there will be an increased build variety. Honestly. Comet just needs a PvP damage nerf. It does, and I think Night Comet's like right behind it with damage too, or well, it, it might actually do more damage, so I think it would probably need to also get the same, you know, nerf in the same vein. It's fine in PvE. Well, yeah, PvE is in an okay spot right now. Like, I've never, I haven't really seen anyone complain about the PvE. Uh. Uh. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, but what if? I feel like I'm gonna break the game with this. I feel like this is about to break the game.
Hello. Hello, guys. Hey, I don't... You know, dude, I don't think that's gonna work on me. Ah, damn, this started the fight. Okay, and already increases discovery and status split up, so that's covered. Yeah, so that's how Arcane's covered. It just didn't faith need something. Maybe I have intelligence to be tied to casting speed instead of dex. So yeah, that was kind of a cursed invasion. Kind of a very cursed invasion. Star Shower needs a nerf in tracking slash poise damage. I would agree. I, I think same goes for like Dragon Miracles too. Like Dragon Miracles just do way too much poise damage for like the, the damage that they can put out. Like it's kind of ridiculous. Because like you can't poise through it. And if you could poise through it, it would kind of make it worthless. However, they're still very strong in PvE. And if you could poise through it, you could just like, you know, cast a spell. But then again, I don't think casting should have any sort of poise. Unless it's something big. Lower level cap will give from soft the ability to soften the ministry returns on stats. That too. Magic General just needs a damage there for leads more counters. Maybe the DLC will give us. Honestly, why didn't we get Vow of Silence? Like, I know this is. Like, Law of Regression is kind of like Vow of Silence, but. I feel like Vow of Silence would be perfect for the game. It could decrease the amount of FPs used in skills. Faith could increase the damage done with skills. You're onto something. <laughs> ah, a gank squad. I'm the squad of the gank. Just keep Ash War scaling, it works fine, but it's still convoluted. The Ash War scaling is very convoluted. That was sounds just shut the fuck up, a fancy. Great Shinobi Owl. Yeah, I don't think, uh, oh. Hmm. Oh. That was something. That was, that was certainly something. Nick, we can nerf Moonville into the ground with good reason, and it can still be viable with high end. Honestly, yeah, it needs a nerf. It needs a nerf. We gotta, like, we need to nerf, like, dual great spears. There's a lot of stuff that just needs to, like, get nerfed into the ground. Saturday's Fight Club, I'm just gonna make a list of cosplays just to make up for lost time. Hell yeah. Gonna just have to run Faith in that case. Oh, Vala sounds so bad. I don't, I don't see why I didn't make it in. Like, it would have been perfect, you know? Just, like, make it actually... Well, just don't make it, like, a crazy stat investment. Don't make it, like, a crazy stat investment or anything. Just make it to where people can just, like, slap it on their builds to deal with mages. I feel like that's fair. Is this Armored Warrior? Armored Warrior is not that bad. Oh, it's this guy again. I mean, you got some beef. I remember what you did to me. I remember what you did to me. Ah, I thought I space that. But I forget, Nagakiba has like an ungodly amount of range. Hmm. Fair play. Fair play. That. I don't think the game knew what to do with me there. I really don't think it knew what to do with me. Oh well. 
a little damage nerf is enough. To be fair, Moonbell is just an ugly keyboard and sheath with slightly more range. A little damage nerf is enough. Yeah, it still shouldn't be doing like 75% health on like a 60 vigor build though. Maybe Faith can increase physical damage resistance, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't think a stat should have its own thing like that. Maybe f have an increased faith could give you like increased poise on the cast, maybe? Like, the, you know, it'd have more poise on the cast. To give faith more of a role of having, of, you know, being a more aggressive, like, paladin type build. Love how friendly people are and, and never, how everyone re interacts with each other in this community. I know, it's awesome. It's like, it's, it's, it's awesome, I love it. I think a nerf to buff stacking instead of the typical individual buff nerfs from has been doing would be nice. Make it to where, like... Like, just honestly make it to where... You can't stack buffs. Like, you can only have one buff active at a time. Whether that be weapon buff, whether that be, like... Whether it be weapon buff, whether it be body buff... Pocket Moonbill Mages and Poise Monster Duel Great Spears maybe stop doing Elden Ring PvP. I'm right there with you, honestly. Like this game's PvP is it's in a it's in a god awful spot. Like it's even worse. I don't know how it got worse after the patch. But somehow did. That was a nice shot. You boys got some got some aim on him. Also, I don't think you should be able to put bleed on a great sword like an ultra. Like I don't think it's you know. Oh, no, that's bad. That's very bad. Abby Shapiro, but that's if that ain't ever a bro. If that ain't a bro moment, if I've ever seen it. active at the time, it's kind of stupid if you think about it. Physical rules all. Weapon buffs can become absolutely useless? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not one buff, maybe like one body buff per se, like, you could have like either Power Within, Golden Vow, something like that. Or Vikes Dragon Bolt buff, or the Dragon Bolt buff, either one. You have a weapon buff, and it ends there. This game's just cut off a we can end there. I mean, for PvP, oh well, yeah, it has potential to be really good though. Like if the PvP settles down and like gets into a good spot, you know, we'll, we'll, it'll be it'll be it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be a damn good experience. Is armored warrior warrior required? Yeah, you got to do war armored warrior. See a dude doing fifty buffs is just funny. I mean, it is. It's kind of funny until you get hit with whatever he's got. Hello. I see you have funny buffs and say no. Ah, that's some some lag. Plus we get he's got the Heisel pick pretty much. You know, for being the longest hammer, this thing has no range. You know what? No. Just, no. What in the actual hell am I enduring?
The deceptive sit box is actually actually shorter than this model. I believe it. I believe it. Let's push into it and make his posture go away. Uh, I think he'll automatically go to it once you break his posture. Or I guess he was just in a, like a, a really good position for me because he just fell right off the ledge. Spellcast should be like R1 combos in that you can't truly spam them. I agree wholeheartedly. Or just make it to where you don't you can't chain cast. Like that. That could also I would say help. He is also shorter than this model. Bruh. Hey! <laughs> ben chillin'. That's power stand straight swords. That was certainly a fight that did happen. No GG. Why well, this guy so shockingly hard? I, I honestly, I straight up insta killed him. Which is better to be taller than six feet or be sixty nine inches tall? I mean, considering the fact that I'm already sixty nine inches tall, I feel like the six feet wouldn't be, wouldn't be, you know. Be kind of alright. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Got enemy cosplaying a solid snake. That's awesome. Nefarious wizard. Real nefarious wizard shit. That was fucking stupid. It was amazing. Hell yeah. Bro, 5 not gang, that's right, my boy. That's right. I'm 5 6 last time I was measured, that was 3 years ago. You've definitely grown in that time, unless you're just stuck at 5 6. I don't think I've hit my growth spur yet. I don't think it's gonna happen, dog. 5 7, 6 1. We got some tall folks in the chat tonight. Shadow Wizard Money Game. Or Money Game. We love casting spells. We love casting spells. 5-5 five, five, or 5-6, five, JKM02. <laughs> nice. I'm just glad I'm not at the height where I have to. I gotta shop in the kids section. I mean, hey, Letty, you're still about average height anyway, so you'll, you're good. You'll be good, man. I'm 06. <laughs> it's not even a, a, I think a pride for me. I've always, I've always been a big kid slash big guy, or slash guy. I've just been about average height ever since I was in the ninth grade. I actually know I was 5'6 in the ninth grade. And 5'9 when I finally got out of high school. I think I'm a little bit taller. I might be a little bit taller now. I, I definitely feel a lot taller than what I once was. But. I don't know. You can never really tell. I'm three inches off of the average American. I mean, hey. It's still not bad. You could, you could always be short. She's used. She's used like 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> short. Short. I swear to God. I see it again. I is it just missing? Oh no, it's just lagging. Lagging so bad. I 
Nothing's wrong with being short. Exactly. However, if someone's taller than you, it is if you're taller than someone, it is your right to make fun of them for being short. Scholar's taller than me, and she makes fun of me for being short, so. You know, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is, my man. So what exactly got him? Like, what, what took him down? Was the punished dragon incantations with Comet? Hmm. <laughs> I tried to, but the dude's lagging so bad, I just said no. <laughs> Made fun of a friend of mine for being short, and they called me bitch listening. <laughs> 410, golly. Talking about short, short. They're older than me. It'd be like that. I'm older than Skylar, but she's still shorter than me. Or, well, she's taller than me. And nobody gets mad when, nobody gets mad when people call him young. Yet yeah, here you are calling people short. He does not follow the golden rule. He does not. I'm taking away his gold star. I'm moving his name down on, on the board. You're going to the red, Nomad. Not short, fun size. That is short, short. That is, that is like hella short, though. Allie. Oh my god, it's Loretta. Oh my god, it's a house stock. Shadow Wizard Money Game. We love casting spells. Ah. Real Nefarious Wizardry. You got God, Nomad. Punk and I are the same height. <laughs> ain't, ain't that swell. Slice was completely useless to build, by the way, and he's super low in, in replacements you can think of. Uh, do you have Shard? Shard. Uh, it's, you know, Star Shower. If you can. Or Glintstone Stars or Star Shower. Well, Glintstone Stars, if you have it. If you can use it. Glintstone Arc's pretty fun. But them set mages still exist? Unfortunately. They're one in the million. Or they're very rare to see. So my first death to mimic jump scare. <laughs> ah, memories. I remember when I got killed by my first mimic. Getting killed by your first mimic is a rite of passage. Thops very hey Thops. You could do Thops or carry in retaliation if you got it. Tom Locks. Warrior. We love casting spells. Dude. I tell you what. We do a little bit of Shadow Wizard Money Gaming. He's doing a little lagging. Hmm. We have similar glass. Ah, Y'all are literally twins. You want to go fight Sunken first? Hmm. Or am I going to need to go to Sunken first? The broken chain cast point down, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you remember that guy? The dude who absolutely casted every spell in existence and then just pointed down at me after afterwards. That was certainly a... It was, it was, a, it was an experience, I will say. Dual Halberd. Dual Halberd. Hmm. Hmm. Take the time to do a little healing. Well, I say healing, but 
Breeds in a little mana. That was certainly some range. He's in dual queue, a little warning. Oh, no. Might be time to bounce. I feel like I'm actively harming myself, though, with this one. See all that, <clears throat> that combustion this, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I would. Hold up, I think there was something said in chat that I can't see in YouTube Studio. Dukes are, dude, they're, the archers and Duke's archive suck, yeah. Ah. Ah, my favorite. Those archers will absolutely obliterate you, though. You do have to watch out. You gotta be very careful. Make sure, if you were doing a mage build, which I know you're not, take off your dust crown. Um, you could try blocking if you have a shield. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Nah. I just walked up to him, spun the weapon, showed him what I was about. This just in, local poise monster gets more poise. That's just in, local man's funny scepter does 300 damage. Can't jump anything from that, that move set. Poor potato girl hasn't encountered too many giants yet. Or Lost Size. Oh god. Lost Size Lith is probably the worst area in the game because it is actually it is declared unfinished. Me personally, I would save that for oh actually no, I would go ahead and get that out of the way before I did Tomb of Giants. Tomb of Giants also is kinda unfinished, but then again, you need to go Lost Isleth to get an item to be able to see in Tomb of Giants if you, you know, if you want to make your time easier. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing, Luddy? Like the passive great sword users of old. Let's just use everything in my arsenal. I think triple rings of lights is the way to go. Or a combo. Alright, good fight. Give you a little chest speed respect. Eyes of the legit blight tumble worse. Yes. Yeah. Whatever the FPS, it actually money you're probably playing on remastered. Hey, at least you can say the FPS isn't as bad, so that's something. What do you do if he's not by an edge and break his posture? Uh, yeah, I guess leave him alone. Let him re get back up, and then he won't regen his full posture, though, so. So try to, like, lure him to the ledge. I guess I just got lucky with Mon. Hmm. Oh, this is about to be an experience.
You know what? Yeah. Do you not have enough in for regular comment? I do. I said throwing it on. Well, so we, we want to talk about what I just beat. Do we want to talk about that? Do we want to talk about what I just beat with the Scepter of the All-Knowing? I just beat a dual, dual Moke Spear user. With the, the Scepter. With the Scepter. <laughs> what? My man's really just let that happen. He really just let that happen to him. Wow. Got caught panic rolling. He kind of did. He kinda, I guess he didn't expect me to actually, I don't know, try to counter him. That's a lot of... Hey! That's a lot of words and letters. Too bad I'm not going to read all that. He's going for the funny life still fist one shot. He saw it on TikTok. Time is up. My time is now. You think you think you got me, but you don't. Oh. I. 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 I oh. Hmm. Level of life still fits for showing as a sign of baseness, but now it's so strong it seems maidenless. It's it's not that far. It's not that far gone. However, that I'm just gonna say that was bullshit. That was some straight up bullshit. I got robbed. Does it seem maidenless now? Nah, not really. However, it is a method it is a means to an end to a one shot. So it might be considered maidenless, I don't know. So Bramble puffed. What a name. What a legend. Oh. Okay. Hold up. I. There's a lot of stuff on screen. That was kind of maidenless. Oh well. Armageddon Sekiro? Yeah, they're talking about the Armageddon Sekiro. Welcome to the stream, that console player. Hope you're doing alright tonight. Yeah, our boy Sent, also known as Nomad, is having a little bit of trouble with uh, Armored, Armored Warrior. He couldn't seem, can't seem to get into, into a position to knock him off the ledge. However, he appears to have found a cheese. He's found a way. Our intrepid warrior has learned. And you know, you actually kind of miss like a whole story arc. Like we had a whole like training arc for our boy Nomad. Like he actually was, he was actually an inch away from just quitting. Beating Genichiro, and then he, he buckled up, he did it, he beat Genichiro. Swag behind him and hit him twice, let him attack and run and back behind him. He is the cheese. Ah. Okay, so I may have to go back to my original strat. For this guy. <laughs> I'll see if the edge us to the death blow. Hell yeah, dude. You got him. Will I do a sleep torch plus madness grab? 
No, no, that wouldn't work because uh, because being slept is an altered state, and you can't put yourself in uh, two altered states. Because like once you're in one, like you know, being slept, you can't be grabbed or like put in another altered state, which would another, the madness grab would be considered an altered state. So that doesn't really work. It's like trying to get a uh, madness grab off of a parry. Okay, where he's like, am I supposed to go in this godforsaken archive? You go up the elevator, and then you, you should uh, fight Seath unless you've, you know, already gone up there. Hey, crab man. Do you have crab for me? Oh no, you only have violence. You only have violence. Like, I mean, you know, I'm all for violence, but, you know, we... We hardly even know each other. Parrying to grab this one. It can work, it's not guaranteed, but if you have enough cast speed, you can, uh, roll catch. Like, roll catch somebody with it. I fall in and then it, got out. Okay, so yeah, you gotta go... You gotta go down the stairs to go, like, kill the snakes that are controlling the big, uh, the big music. Because if there's music playing... Okay, I'm still... Alright, there are two giant... Oh, oh, oh okay. With the moving staircases. Yeah, you'll, you'll find where to go. Just keep exploring. Did you find the bonfire, though? Because once you find the bonfire, you're kind of golden. Parrying to grab isn't reliable. I know many people have tried it to me, and I just rolled it. I just roll it in time before they do it. Yeah, it's not a guarantee, but if you have enough cast speed, you can maybe do it. With Radagon, Icon, Parry, and Grab as a true combo. I know my man's did I just heal on you. I have a punish for comedy, however. I was told to go fuck myself. Man, this is a big heal. Tell you what, I'm bringing, bringing, out, bringing out the wampus stick. The mace. I'm covered in snow. That's some reason people get mad at me. I need for healing in combat ordeals. A combat ordeal, it doesn't matter. Duels is kind of annoying. I've yet to have anyone roll through my grab after parry. Okay, hold up. I'll, you'll actually have to... I want you to send me a clip of that if you don't mind. Like, if you have one handy. Because, like, Scala was telling me, like, actually, like, breaking it down to the stats. Like she said, you know, the parry frames, the, you know, time to take a crit is about 3 point something seconds. And the grab is about 4 seconds, even with like max cast speed. So... Maybe it's just like a perfect roll catch or something. It's the only thing I can think of. That guy was trying. He was trying his damnedest. He even healed on me. You healed on me, yet he's still lost. Also, hammers are kind of funny. I love hammers. Now we move into the casting. See, you're not expecting the casting. You're expecting the melee. Yeah, I would stand in that. Yeah, that's 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 not not optimal. A good fight though. No hit with flats and I didn't get. Oh well. Hmm. Well, yeah, no, that's fine. Combat ordeal, you know, you gotta heal sometimes. And it's, it's not really a traditional duel in a sense, it's more like a... Like a 1v1 on like Rust or Nuketown in like the old COD days. So like, you know, you're gonna respawn, so I mean, healing's fun. Cause he kind of a suicidal bug or something. Dude kept flying in the walls and directly in the ground and stomp on him with my mother's shoe. Hmm. <laughs> my man just didn't. He was done. Let me try and do one again real quick. Alright, cool. Cool. Yeah, because I want to see it. Hello. Hello, great sword enthusiast. Give me a little bow, a little bit of respect. Love to see a little bit of respect before a fight. A little bit of damage. Thought it was terrible without Dex. Shit, I don't know then. It, it was uh, more of an experiment than anything, and that's some generous range. Good fight, though. The guy didn't do shit, he was flying into her face, and, and she just took it. She didn't care. 
She straight up just didn't care. If we can each your own and join this game again. Hey, hey man, that's how it is for, uh, that's how it was for me in Guardian Ape. Like, Guardian Ape, I was stuck on Guardian Ape for like two, two days. I'm gonna finally beat it, like, I beat his first phase. It took me like an hour and a half, two hours to try to like beat his first phase. And then when I finally beat, you know, beat that, I found out, oh god, there's another phase. Hey, good night, Gil. Good night, I appreciate you for coming out, man. Have a good night. Sleep well and have a good day tomorrow. Why? I feel like once upon a time that would have actually like, hit me. Is gravity magic seal of strength? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, couldn't tell you. Three, three to four hours for Genichiro. Unless you've been on it for like, like days. Genichiro maybe go places in my mind I never wanted to see. I actually beat Genichiro my second try. But then again, you know, like I like I said, like I've told everyone else, it's because he fights like Jetstream Sam and Metal Gear Rising. And I have fought Jetstream Sam so many times. And plus, parrying in that and deflecting in Sekiro is a lot like parrying in uh, Metal Gear Rising. So I already had the muscle memory down. Magic skills of the magic scaling you have on your staff or slash seal. Yeah. Bop. Are you, you okay, man? You're just like letting me hit you. You feel bad for me for the weapon I'm using. Because I, I would not take pity. My man's just got obliterated. His health bar. Okay. I stop after like 10 to 20 tries. Oh. Oh, I got you, dog. I got you, no man. Is this the damn folding screen monkey area? Yes, it is. Some power temple is. And you, of course, you know, you still. Have you fought Guardian Ape yet? Would it be Glock Saint third time? Father, I'll taught me some hard lessons. I haven't gotten that far. The farthest I've gotten is uh, getting Mortal Blade, and I don't know where to go after that. No, Abe, not yet. Oh, you're gonna have a time and a half with him. I wish you luck. I wish you luck in a smooth time, unlike what I had. Excuse me, sir. That's a little bit of lag. Oh, not just a little bit, a whole lot of lag. You got parried and grabbed twice. That's actually cool. That's that's actually pretty badass. Also, that does a lot of damage. I want to get Mortal Blade before before eight. Uh, it's, in, it's after folding monkeys. We've been streaming Sekiro? Oh yeah, of course. I'm still gonna finish Sekiro. Like, I've been streaming it for like the past couple days, but I kinda... Kinda wanted to like take a break and play some Elden Ring. Play some Elden Ring and, uh, you know, kinda... Promote the new video that I just put out. You know, I might I might go back to uh might go back to Sekiro tomorrow, but honestly I kinda wanna play like, you know, do like another community night like what I did with uh TF2. Because that was so much fun. Like that was probably some of the most fun I've had gaming in a long time. Try to give me the spirit MOA choice. Uh I may I'd accidentally send him to 
to the sewers to the abandoned dungeon. I feel bad. Excuse me, would you like to like calm down? Excuse me. You're being very aggressive with me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ah damn. Bad dragon. definitely do TF2 again, if, even if not necessarily tomorrow. I will definitely do TF2 again, because, like I said, that was some of the most fun I've had in a long time. I don't want to send to the bad place. Yeah, I gave him... Yeah, I gave him a bad ending. Has anyone tried Frozen Armament? I haven't, actually. I think Chilling Miss is better, though. The sound of making has begun. Uh oh. It has begun. Excuse me. Is it fun to play like this? Like, genuine question. I don't see how that is actually fun. Like, I don't see how you have fun with that place, though. Like, just dash away, poke, dash away, poke. Like, I really don't see the appeal of it. That says too thin and will bend. Huh. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Did you get Mortal Blade? Yeah, I did. I got Mortal Blade, I killed Guardian Ape, and now I'm just trying to find out where to go after. I get troll I get epically trolled by a message because I still have nowhere to go. You know, no idea where to go. Blade is half an inch thick. You might have to make it like an inch thick. I know that'd be a little bit harder to uh you know mess with. Hello Katana Enjoy. Behold, the giddy, the Sir Midian Ophir, the all coping. Why does Rings of Light actually kind of slap? Like, this incantation Loki goes hard. Like, it's actually kind of nuts. Is it the seal? Or is it a fundamental? Oh, hold up. It might be a fundamentalist. So, okay, or, um, incantation. Did you buy a guitar and pretend you made it? Hey, that's... <laughs> that's not a bad idea. You need to go to Mibu Village. Ooh, where's that at? Plagiarism. We leave it as is because I can't get any more metal. And this half an inch piece is the only I got. Yeah, it might be a good idea so you can get more metal. Meta equal maidenless. I mean, look, look at me. Do you see me? I'm literally Sir Midian Offnir, the all coping, or fell off the all coping. Boxing actually gets kind of hard. It does. It's kind of nuts. There's a classic from Soft Troll on the way. Oh, no. Nah. I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I am, but. You have to go through a bandit dungeon and go through one of the wall holes. Hmm. So are we like fighting or what? Is my man trying to leave? Well, I'll show you the way out then. Now I'll show you the way out. Oh, he he's angry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, I, di I didn't mean it. I'm not the sorry, Corbin. 
You have to go to Abandoned Dungeon, go through one of the wall holes, jump down a hole in Nibu. Hmm. Let's see what I got so far. If it messes up, we get thicker metal. Plus, without a doubt, so I can make a katana with how complicated it is. Because yeah, this is like a weird technique where you gotta like actually fold the steel. Like, you know, that, and that's how katana's made, like with, you know, like a thousand times folded nipple steel. I'm not regretting his life choices. I get, yeah. My man's not having a good time. Sympathy creatures. Ew. Come on, no. I'll take the damage. I, I, I don't care. It's kind of funny. Cause them folded what? You heard me. I said what I said. A thousand times folded nipple steel. I had time to bring out my ultimate weapon, the staff. The staff of the all coping has failed me. These beans, right? They were in a little container. Well, look at the beans, and they're covered in what looks like a plain yogurt or something. Bruh. So, what do you mean a thousand times folded? The reason it was folded so much was to work out impurities in the metal because Japanese is iron shit. Yeah, Strider's got you. Strider's, Strider knows his history. I refuse to look closer and I realize it's all fuzzy mold. Ew! That's nasty. This guy's never seen the light of day. Hmm. Their iron primarily came from primarily came from iron sand of some kind. Huh. Neat. Using normal steel, well, you might be alright with just normal steel. You might be alright with that. You might, you might get by with it. I don't, I don't know. But I mean, you know, we got better metal than they had back then. All of you guys are invited to the wedding. Ah, who's the lucky lady? Like really sturdy steel. Oh, you're, you're good then. You're, you'll be just fine. Hit. <laughs> We do a little trolling. You blocked him? That I did. I'm not saying I did. I, I may or may not have just straight up blocked him. I mean, if a dude's trust, you know, really frustrating to fight, what's the point fighting? Like, granted, you know, I know that's kind of like seen as like a coward, coward maneuver, but I mean, you know, if it's gonna frustrate me to actually try to beat him, then I just won't, just won't do it. Grinder struggles to get through it. I'm gonna clay and then quench it. Ooh. Can't wait to see the finished product, man. Really looking forward to what you create. These authentic well make it on is worth twelve thousand to twenty five thousand dollars. Now that's a lot of money. That could buy a lot of G fuel. I could buy so much G fuel. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I could actually put that towards college. Aircraft the Japanese stuff costs a lot. Oh yeah, I know. It's because they still use like the techniques that they used back in, back in the um, the very very old days. Can fight one more time in a minute. Yeah, sure. I'm down. Just let me know whenever you're ready. 
How do I fight? How do I get to the Falling Screw Monkeys? I'm at the main hall. Main hall idol. You just continue. Uh, do you do you see the the bell you can pick up? I grabbed the blood on stuff spammer. My man, my man. You you know what? I, re I give you res a respectful handshake. Oh, this is this is a man after moment. Who at the Wakazashi which gets on a pair? You are. I give you mad props. I give you so much props. You are a legend, a god amongst men. Long live the. Never mind. Didn't kill though. Oh, hey. You, you brought justice. I respect the hell out of that guy. Wakazashi Uchikitana. That's my bread and butter. That is literally my baby. That's a combo I've used for so long. I only fought to do it a grab twice. Wait, w which one was it? The uh, the katana dude? The not with the NPC, there's nothing there? Bro, I... I don't know where you are then. Is it like a big room with like a bunch, like three enemies and then like a dude sitting in like a big chair? Like, not a big chair, but like a big uh, statue? Aw, uh, I don't think my boy deserved it. Also, I see you're funny. Raise you an even funnier. Oh no, son. Oh no. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. No. No. This this ain't what I signed up for. I signed up for a fight. Not to stare at a brick wall for two hours. I hate that. That's why I kind of miss kick just being like a, a baseline thing. I'm at the main, main hall and next to a guy who just says hello. I don't think I ever saw that guy. So there's a few. <laughs> Getting sarcastic with my boy Nomad. Kaiden? Kaiden warrior? Hey. A warrior of the Kaiden. You, a man after my own heart. Do you know who I am? You dare challenge me even after knowing my true identity? That was excellent. Okay, this is not a worthy trade. Not a worthy trade. However, I respect also. I do respect the hustle. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, I just walked into an R1. That was kinda dumb. See this hall. <laughs> Ready? Ah, oh, should have just got into one. Ah, right, I'll get you after this. Hello. What can I do for you? Welcome to the salty spittoon. How tough are you? How tough am I? How tough am I? I killed a dual Moog Spear user. With the scepter of the all knowing. This is certainly a fight, it is going on. Dude's 
get a little bit of lag too. Can't really punish him all that well. Uh, why did he hear electric damage? I really do need to be passive with this guy, but like, I actually can't do anything against him while I'm, when I'm up close. Because he's got some lag to him. I hate to play like this, but... Okay, never mind. The scepter of the all-knowing claims another victim. This is you two arguing in chat? That's... Yeah. <laughs> Good luck navigating him. I wish you good luck. <laughs> My brother in Christ's main hall idol. Oh. My bad. I forgot recap. So, you know, at least one person gets forgotten for a night. Hello. Wait. Damn. Okay. I see. I understand. Well, that was okay. What was the funny debuff you put on me? Except through knowledge above all. Lowers uh, magic and holy damage and resistance by 10%. Back up. We queue up and we run it. You know, it's just a weapon up for the uh, scepter of the all knowing. MC will be there if you beat Nietzsche in the castle. His eyes can be found at the bottom of the pond. Your temple grounds after you get Mibu breathing technique. <laughs> Mum literally caught flame. Hey! See here, yeah. the hit clearly hit. However, it was late. That's a lot of damage. I need those one of Master Lord. Oh, Blythe. Okay. Hmm. If you can't see what I'm doing, then I can't see what I'm doing. If I don't know what I'm doing, you don't know what I'm doing, neither of us know what I'm doing, then none of us know what I'm doing. You understand that? The same knowledge above all, however. Randomness seems to work better. Running in without a plan is always a lot more fun anyways. Try to cast comment. Hmm. Bro. Excuse me, my dear gentlemen, but it, now is the time I should go to my quarters and regain the energy I've lost via sleep. Good night. Good night, Bill Take it easy, man. Appreciate you for coming out.
Oh. Okay. How do you lose energy while sleeping? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, you, you sleep to like regain energy, how do you lose it? Cue the Toho music. Let me do a little test. Alright, so it appears she's... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hit. Behold the funny. Oh. That was certainly a maze fight. The funny debuff. Damage go Bert. Holy damage go Bert. Definitely a still mid. Alright, GG. That was uh, certainly a fight. I don't like playing that passive though. Oh my god. Guys? I would like to direct your uh, attention to the sub count. We're at 900. We're at 900, boys. We're at 900. We're on our way. Slowly but surely. 900 subscribers. Oh, wait, never mind. 901. My bad, 901. We're getting closer, boys. The closest to 1,000. 10 hour stream? No, 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 no. No, I gotta rest. Like, I gotta be rested up. Because the video is doing very well. It is my most, my best performing video in this little time that it's been out. Compared to my last 10. The closest, the thing that's come the closest to it in this amount of time was, was the, uh, was the, the dupe meta. 899 now. <laughs> Damn you, Strider. Damn you, Strider, you son of a bitch. Can I post some annou announcements? Uh, yeah, sure. If you'd like to. And thank you, Tyf. Thank you for the sub, man. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> we're we're getting there, boys. We're we're getting there. Do you have two hypercuts win? Uh as soon as I get around to it. Man. <sighs> you know what this means, right? You know what this means, guys. We are ninety nine subscribers away. Less than 100 subscribers away from a thousand. 
That means you boys get to see this ugly fucking mug. And in zero it's in it. 24 hours to mod, stupid ass. Hope you're already. Seems like Dots is back on. Oh shit. Twenty four hour stream as well. Yeah, if we if, if we somehow make it to a thousand, then yeah, the twenty four hour stream will happen. So a thousand is on a weekend, that's that's what I'm hoping for. But however, I would like to get like you know, get it set in stone, like hey, we have a thousand, it's not going anywhere. Because people can't unsub and then that would get me you know, they kinda hurt. So I'd rather it be set in stone before we make any like big plans on it. I also would like to actually get accepted into the partner program. Uh oh. Look forward to it. Oh, hey man, you're gonna be on it. Because we're gonna go like, through the channel's history. Like, we're going through this channel's history and like, you know, seeing what all it's gone through. What stages it's it's been through. What, like, you know, from every, from my start, from my old days, to what where we are now. We're going through this channel's history and playing every game that's that's been on the channel and even some games that have, haven't been on the channel. To be honest, school will probably be over at a thousand. Maybe. We really don't you know, there's really no telling like what the channel's gonna do. Because at the moment the video is currently at about three hundred and twenty views. Now I could leave that overnight and who knows what that's gonna do. They could, you know, shit out at like 400, and then that'd be the end of it. Or, or, it could go to the moon. There is really no way left to tell. Like, there's no way to tell. Oh, man. And what a stream to get it on, dude. Like, some, like, little me, like, me build. Like, Sir Midian fell off the all coping. Roll prep me. Roll prep me with bleed. No. Maybe. Post to announcements. I bet. Cool. Cool. Can we do a five hour stream because of 900? Yeah, sure. Why not? Wheelchair <laughs> My legs are broken, the kneecaps are stolen, I'm forever bound to a chair! The German server has activity. Nice. Yeah, we'll go for five hours tonight, why not? I will, of course, you know, swap games. I will swap games, because uh, I don't know how much more of this I can take. What if someone make a full version of that song? It's already a full thing, dude. Like, it's a full, there's actually a full song with, like, lyrics all the way through, even, even to the very end. Like, it's a three minute, three minute song. Looking downward from this deadly height, never realizing why I fight. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a link for you, no bad. Just give me one second. Oh yeah, there it is. I'll throw it in general. For anyone who would like to give it a listen. How long have I made the guitar blade be? How long? How, how long? I'm watching this sec. I... Two feet and three point five inches. Damn. I'm pretty sure that. Cl no, wait, two feet isn't really as long as I think it is. Still, that is pretty long. That's one hell of a katana.
gotta get a little, gotta think. Do a little thinking. This one will make it as long as your mom's sickness, but then it'll be the longest it's done ever. Ha 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 That's hilarious. I'm just, I'm just gonna speak English in the German server. Hopefully they like me. They will, dude. They'll like you, Loden. Oh, wait, hold up. He gave me a chest beat. Does, hold up. Does he know me? Wait, does that person know me? Okay, no, I don't, I don't know that person. I've seen Odachi as long as my height. Ooh. This is a Roblox YouTuber server. Forgot. <laughs> Bruh. Everyone here is like 12. Yeah, you might want to bounce out of that. Odachi can be 10 to 15 feet long. Holy shit. The long Katna. It's me. Hey! hey! Let's get a side of me you never knew I had. I got the dog in me. Also with the back seven. I was nearly punished for it. This is actually a good little combo by your boy. And your boy got obliterated. Where do we go find Ishin? Uh, you know the tower near where you fought Genichiro? That's where. Walk at the window and follow the smoke things. Yeah, it's like a tower to the northeast, I want to say? I don't know, it's like directly diagonally to. Where you fucking eat, bro? Kiro's room, Grace. Bill. Oh. Hang on, hang, hang on. Calm down. What even? What, what, what did I just witness? You good? Bruh. Man's got his ass beat by this thing. The scepter of the all-knowing went off and healed. Ooh. Nice little bit of damage. Come on, Waterfell. I know you want to. That should do it. Alright. Okay. Adouge. Perry? Perry? Uh, uh. You know what? The first one's always a bit. The first one is always a bit. The first parry is always a bit. Remember that, folks. Bruh. Hmm. Hmm. What is the logic behind this one? Well, my man's ran off and yield like three times and then pointed down at me. Bro, what the f- What? I expected they point down on you. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. I mean, if you want some like good lore, Nomad, give uh, Ishin the sake. You get some pretty solid lore. Also, honestly, I may swap to DS3. You fellas are not paying attention to dialogue, are you? I have been. I, I've, I've been paying attention to, di to the dialogue. Definitely me, yes. I pay attention to all the dialogue. I definitely don't skip through it. Nor reach out while I, uh, while, while it's going on.
Ew. He's got the doo doo on it. You know what? They never expect the hammer. The scepter. The scepter to be all knowing. Oh! I popped. Oh, he gave me a little chest beat. GG. GG. Oh, did my boy. Did my boy fucking Dante just <laughs> just send me a fucking a Dante status? Like a Dante montage? Power stance to lances when max poise and quick step. This is a certified bro moment. Duels are sad, they're they're very painful. When the building I'm trapped with three rooftop owl guys. Hey! hey. See this guy wasn't bad to fight. Like, he had a build, you know, it's, it's a Strength Arcane build. With a suspicious amount of faith invested into it. I'm not around him. Oh, I forget, like, bestial incantations take no faith. this cosplay builds properly without getting bm every five minutes well hey you want to fight me because you know I'm, I'm not one for bming and i am doing a cosplay build myself so if you want to come test it out you know that's a perfect opportunity for you oh uh, yeah we'll just uh do you want to queue duel or combat ordeal it's up to you Duel? Alright, cool. Alright, just uh, throw the password on. We'll rock with it. We respect after this one? Alright, cool. Let's see what you come up with, though. Simple one hand straight sword as a thin boy. <laughs> nice. Got a feeling this is gonna blow someone's eardrums out of fact supply. Funny we're both in queue and nothing happens. I tell you what, is there anything different? Or wait, hold up. Alright, there we go. Took it a minute. God damn it. No matter where I go, a stall foe will always haunt me. I want it dead. I want it, I want it, I want it uber dead. I want it so dead. This is a nice little mix up there.
<laughs> Sorry, that was personal. That was that was personal. I got beef with the sulfur. It wasn't nothing you did. It was just it was it was it was personal. It's a faith build because the gra oh. Okay, hold up. Say, where'd you happen to uh, get the idea from, if you don't mind me asking? Because I've heard that idea before. Because that idea is actually something an old uh, former friend of mine wanted to do. Let me go back to the strength build. Alright, cool. Fight a little strength build. A little swole boy. A little swole buddy. Uh, who is this? Meta equal maidenless. The bubble. Yeah, no, NGV, a uh, old a former friend of mine actually wanted to make an Astolfo build where all he did was grab people. He didn't actually end up doing it, however. It you just kind of reminded me of that uh of that build. Crab man, hey crab man. Hello, crab man. This is always a combo that gets. Oh, this gets people lacking because you can't see like the disc coming through the fire. That's where I'm looking for the builds. I don't know if you actually. I don't know if you actually knew the person who came up with that idea. Because there was someone I used to talk to back in the day about that idea. You are done. I, I've soloed him. Or I've flossed him, I mean. Of course I've soloed him, there's 1v1, but... If I'm a problem... What have you done, my boy? Don't think so? I got you. Never exhausted off Kuro's dialogue. That's a that is a this is a certified bra moment. Never loved her, <laughs> bro. Damn, that's harsh. That's harsh, lady. That is a nomad bow moment. You dare go for the parry. I feel like Elden Stars is one of the ideas of all time. It was certainly an idea. Did it have to exist? Probably shouldn't have. I need to take that one back to the drawing board. So close, it's so far. Hmm. 
Luddy is a gold digger. Man, Luddy, I thought you were better than that. I thought you were better than that, my man. So sad. As he would say. It's kind of upsetting how poor Elden Ring PvP is. I mean, it could be so much better, too. Hmm. I've gotten... I've got an idea! So. You guys are about to see something that I, I don't think you understand. Another video game. We're going back in time, boys. We are going back in time. This shit is nice. I love this shit. Probably one of my favorite NPCs. I mean, th thank you? Uh... This is cringe. That's a nice shit. That's his sound, Spinboy. Good. Ah, oh, that could have been a nice little punish. I'll get a reaction out of it. This can you know, this usually catches someone off guard. You know what? I reserve this for special occasions, and this is the time. You almost never see me. Give a point down, however, that was deserved. That was 100% deserved. Yes, we I was gonna eat your and our wolf said was he was strong. I wrote a whole essay over it. Outmage the mage. Sometimes you gotta outmage the mage to become the mage, you know what I mean? You gotta mage the mage to mage the mage. And sometimes you even mage the mage. You know what I mean? Alright boys, you're about to see something special. Elden Ring is closed out. You guys get to see my beautiful Steam page. Dude was scared of the Finboy. I'm scared of the Finboy. Yes, I, I have games. Check this out. There are games here. I said open the window for my cat to get in. Bro, what? Are we gonna play Luddy Simulator? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You see this? I told you we're going back in time, boys. We are going back in time. Hope you're ready. Dog Souls 3. Yep, we are going back in time. Apologies. Apologies for that. We meet John Dark Souls? Possibly. As you can see, it is definitely not modded in the slightest. It's time to kiss Gwyn. How many saves do you have? I have all of two. I had one that had every item on it because he used uh, Honest Merchant, but then I deleted it. Didn't want to run the risk of getting banned. As you can see, everything is definitely as it should be. Everything is. As it should be. You should try adding mods. I should. John Dark Souls, just a few mods. Where's the entire cave? I got rid of it. For some drip. For some real drip. Aw oh, man, this brings me back. The drip jacket. Yeah! We got the drip jacket, we got... Da 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 da! 
Pen -na -na -na. Go fight Gale, I mean, it could. I think it actually could. Oh no, I beat Gale. Ah, damn. Did you get the constitution or something? No, it's uh... It's uh, Drip. It's like uh, Supreme. I'm gonna try going in the Colosseum with one of my favorite weapons. A weapon of old. Do you remember DS3 looking like this? What, what are you talking about? It, it's always looked like this. This is how it's always supposed to look like. Go fight the ice crabs. Oh god, not the ice crabs. And Strider knows, like, I'm actually in New Game Plus 4. I'm in New Game Plus 4 for reasons. Alright, hold up. Let's, uh, tell you what. Let me show you guys something. Well, yeah, that's supposed to be a Demon Souls armor. Gotta love the semi-transparent inventory look. It's it's awesome. <laughs> you guys, he was hosting a fight club for once a hacker killed Aldrich for him. And I actually got... I followed the hacker in the arena and they still a new game plus. He didn't like me. Ah, uh, yeah. Close your eyes, boys. Close your eyes. Something about this ain't right. It's mighty, but it looks good. It's... I, I love... I love everything about this game. I guarantee you this isn't what you thought you'd be seeing today. I'm gonna get DS3 on Pete. PC to play with y'all, but I haven't even beat it yet. You could do this to it if you wanted to. <laughs> Let her rip! And if we take a look here... <laughs> oh well, let me get this up. Notice something about the uh, katana? It's a little different. Okay, I won't stop looking at me. Well, better. She wants affection, clearly. Bro could do the ultimate crossover. <laughs> you see what I have, right, boys? <laughs> Memories broken. The truth goes unspoken. I'm for it. I use Marasama's Mortal Blade and Blade and Sorcery. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I got something for you. Let's see, clandestine coat. Wonder what that is? Who knows? Let's see, fire link gauntlets. The leggings, I think, was like. I think it was Cornix. Is something. Oh, antiquated skirt. Who am I? Definitely not Virgil from Devil May Cry. Should I give Kuro a secure droplet to keep it? Go ahead and give it. Dante, bro. <laughs> Damn, you know bad. Right, but speaking of Dante, why don't you uh, direct your attention to this little thing right here? Well, this little thing right here. I mean, this little thing right here. I'm sensing a storm. <laughs> it's a vigil. There is a storm approaching. What are the, what are the armors that I install? I know there's a lot of mods that I got. Like, I mean, a whole... A whole lot. Okay, that... Look at that, bro! Like, just look at that. The blue. It's so blue. Wait. <laughs> Not. Do I have two resurrections now? That you do. 
We spill your blue monster on yourself. <laughs> I think I've gone and ruined it. Alright, covered in Nuka-Cola Quantum. <laughs> what, Nomad? That face. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? You guys don't like it? Because me personally, I don't see the issue. I feel like that's like complete and total drip. I tell you, what we, we're going. We're gonna do some PvP. Bro, got the goofy guy grin on. I am God's yunkiest splinker. You guys about to see some old school in action? Get to be a glass cannon. Bro, it's different. I instantly got a duel in this game. Alright boys, we're going back in time for this one. Hello. Oh, Fire Serpent. Dude, Fire Serpent was so good. Now that's pretty. I love that. People still using the mods and duels? No, 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 no. It's only uh, mods are client side. It's like no one else sees what I have. Let's say I have the same mod installed. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it, boys. I still got it. I'm so excited for Mortal Blade. It's my favorite skill. It's probably my favorite skill so far. Besides, like, double Ichimonji. Man. <laughs> Some things just never change. Now oh, the bell is now there. Hey, now you can go fight the uh, the folding monkeys. <laughs> Man, this takes me back. Takes me back to, to some days. They were days. Were they good? To be determined. Hello, sir. A little lightning buff. Ah, good old Orwin's spam. Uh, he doesn't know that you can't parry that. That's slam down one. Perry? No? Now that was the weapon art. Found the monkey one. Yeah, it's 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 a fight. It's one of the fight. Is it one of them behind me? Yeah. See now it's like a what weird was saying. One of them they're a they're like a metaphor for like, you know, the old parable. Hear no evil, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, and do no evil. And the do no evil one follows you. The uh, hear no evil is death, but well, it has very good eyesight. The see no, I think he, maybe see, speak no evil will alert everyone, or alert all the monkeys to your location if you're trying to stealth. And I can't remember about the other ones. Oh yeah, take, what, take out what it did to the Moonlight Greatsword. I turned it into the old Moonlight spell. And by god, is it pretty. We're watching random secure clips, not knowing what the fuck's going on. It's like, the big fish and the monkeys. The Ludwig Sword? Oh yeah. Also, Devil Sword Dante, for those who, who know. Devil Sword Dante. 
is dead nice keep going my boy you got this I think this is the cathedral night great sword that I'm using and you can see like ultras were very very strong in the skin do you have anything for reignite pair of great swords I could have done something where I turned it into uh, Dante's like dual wielding Dante swords but I didn't actually do that because I didn't I thought I might find something else of like but I didn't, I didn't. However, I can use the Ring Knight Pair of Great Swords if you want me to. I mean, there they're, they're are weapons, I can use them. I'm not a big fan of them, but hey, I'll give them a shot. I mean, they're literally L1, L1, L1. However, there was like a true combo with the, uh, the weapon art, I believe. Also, that is very susceptible to pairing. You can't parry this, however, if you have Perseverance, you can poise through it and punish it. Ooh, I'll tell you what might be fun. He, I can't tell what he is. Hello. <laughs> ah, damn it. I forgot about the sins in my past. <laughs> they killed by Ricardo Milos. The mods I install, I have to actually question myself about now. I have to live with what I've done. I think I got some more weapon mods, I can't remember what though. Hmm. Oh wait. You know, this is a weapon from uh, Demon Souls. It's the uh, like royal straight sword or whatever it's called. Hmm. Did I not get anything else? I don't know what all I got. Claymore's. Oh, oh, Claymore's Force Edge. That's right. I think I did. I Beowulf. I think I had a Beowulf? Maybe? I want to say I possibly had a Beowulf. I didn't have Beowulf. Damn. Ooh, split leaf. Ooh, hold up. Black Knight Glaive. In this game... In this game, everything was pretty good. Like, anything you could pull out, you probably do well with, in which that's, you know, still the case in Elden Ring. This game was... this game was balance, in a way. It was a weird balance, but it... it was there. It existed. Ah. Hello. Paladin Joseph. Let me give you a little, uh, default dance respect. <laughs> Does he know? Does he know? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little rusty with this moveset. Ah. Kind of 
different. But yeah, the moveset is a little bit, a little bit different than what I'm used to. However, it's still a good weapon. Very good weapon. Weapon's got some history. It's been through it. See what I do? Could I want to? I want to put the four sides to work. Ooh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Like blue fire is just, it's. I love it. Like all the fire being blue is perfect. It's just, it's all power red. I think I just watched someone start their first or well, start a new Dark Souls three character. As a dude in like full deprived gear. Hello, sir. Hello, Paladin Joseph. How are you doing on this fine day? There's also, uh. There's also that as an issue. Weapon art, and I just tabbed out, and I'd probably just blew my game up. I forgot it's getting tabbed out of a full screen again. Which one's kind of annoying to catch. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. However, if you have like the uh, a certain sugar, it shouldn't be a problem. Unless it's a different one I'm thinking of. Alright, they're all dead. Hell yeah. Now you get the mortal blade. Good job, my boy. Dude, what's this? I'm fighting that guy. I might need something a bit more. You know. Nah, but the orange was easy. Uh, the green one nearly actually knocked me off a ledge. It tried to use gravity against me. Nah, that was just... No. That was just a no-go. I wasn't down for that. Who's the Divine Child? Ah, oh, it's an experiment of people trying to go after... The same people who try to pursue immortality using the blood of Kuro. Oh wait, yeah, I know what Kuro is. Oh yeah, Kuro's the Divine Heir. There's also like another one in... Where you get the Mortal Blade. Such a bad fight, yeah, it is kinda terrible. The stream trade you mess my Mr. Summer, I said something about the Reignite straight sword recovery cancel guy, but don't see it anymore. I don't know man, like it's it's been a little weird. Like sometimes it'll just randomly delete messages like I'll I won't even see them. Okay, I'm, I hate to tab out. Let me see what I can see in Yeah, no, never mind. Strange. Puppet nin ninjutsu. Yeah, dude, you get the puppet. You get the puppet stuff. Yo, does right Kuro is the divine hero. Person gives you the mortal blade is the only surviving divine child. So yeah, I have been paying attention to the lore. I've been paying attention, believe it or not. It's the blade. The blade of legends. The and hey, you're actually calling it to me now, though, man. Unless you haven't killed Guardian. Oh, you haven't killed Guardian, dude. Also, this weapon, if you take a look at it, it's the Claymore, however, it's also Force Edge. Ye Lore Master? The only lore I, I don't know have mastery of is Dark Souls. Hmm. Oh, the Black Flame! No, my buddy. Ishin's gonna destroy Nomad. Dude, Ishin's gonna be rough for me. Ah, and the spirit. Tell you what, let's try out some stuff. Let's, let's see a little funky fresh with it. That's uh, a lot of cast speed. Most of not used to the uh, great sword play style in uh, DS3. Cause it's a powerful one. Don't get me wrong. 
it's Elden Ring is messing up on great swords. This isn't an impossible difficulty, but it's tough for sure. So you made red katana. I've heard is I've heard Ishin's only been beaten by like 0.8% or 8% of the population. Or 8% of the people who played uh, Sekiro. DS3 weapons animations are weird. They're weird, but they're kind of simplified. Well, let me show you something. This is something weird. Now, this is actually kind of a true combo. Like you do R1 into heavy. Do you really not use Mortal Blade as a normal weapon? No, it's a... It's a weapon art or a skill. It's only a skill. <clears throat> hmm. Could get a little fancy with it. Or well, I say a little fancy with it, but could get a little a little different with it. It seems great until he pulls up a Glock out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm horrified. <laughs> I am actually horrified. Said Elden Ring Butcher, the Black Knight Great Sword slash Great XR2. I know, it's 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 gone. Like, it, it's reduced to atoms. Let me put my helmet back on. Hello, Elon Musk. I see what your plan is. Some reversion feel, just feels so much worse. It does. Where does weapon go? What? Hmm. Uh. Okay. To my real red, real metal mortal blade of looking sexy, real and red. Yeah, where are you buying from, and how much does it cost? eBay. If you buy something, do not buy anything from Wish. Like buyer beware. Also, you guys see why I try to use the uh, the pulley crossbow the way I do, because it, it's so nasty in this game. Like it's actually disgusting. $169? Oh god, no. No, I do not. You think I paid that much for any of my, my weapons? Etsy, that's a scam. That is a scam. Kill before we time to kill them all. Pass down the righteous law. I was gonna get your inventory situated. Uh oh. That's gonna be some damage. Bro, it only has five stars. Yeah. Review bots are a thing. What are you trying to do, my boy? Stop doing Elden Ring duels for Sandy's sake. Yeah, me personally? That's why I swap games. Because I was actually kind of losing my mind. Oh, one more to play, I'll find another one. Alright, dog. I mean. 
You do what you gotta do. Max voice Shunter crouch poke into his blood on step spam HP regen, dude. The wind is just so important to some people. Like me personally, I, I don't care if I win or lose. He'll pull out the move swap against his ultra. He did. He did, and that's an example of like the win meaning so much to someone. This one I could buy, this wolf sword is eighty-eight dollars. Alright, man, I wouldn't look at like I wouldn't look at like wish or you know. Oh, hold up! This is a perfect opportunity. This is a perfect opportunity to show you guys what I was talking about. It's got some range. I guess the cosplay people really need to, need to calm down. Yeah, the win is everything to some people. And it's like, yeah, I understand, you know. Like, winning, win, winning is everything to some people, not me. I really don't care. I try to go for style. Like, right there, I could have just shot him with a crossbow and won. But I wanted to go for some style. Yeah, like, Elden Ring just has some people that just go way too hard in the paint. Like, it ain't that serious at the end of the day, you know? It's not like, you know, the catheter's gonna get ripped out if you take an L. It's just part of it, you know? You're meant to lose sometimes. You were fated to lose. And whatever, you just, you learn from those mistakes. You learn from the mistakes you made while you were losing, and then you use those to your advantage next time. You learn a little bit with each, you know, each little win. Hello. Back when lightning still scales with faith. You mean cards better than this? I wouldn't go that far now. Okay, you guys will see some tech of old. Parrot? Ah, he sees it. He sees it now. Now we're baiting in. A little bit of dazzler action. No? We pull out the Glock. It's a battle. It's a battle player. Ah, no back seven. Alright, good fight. A little default dance action. What sort of you think I should look in for a mortal blade? Probably like Amazon or something. You might can find like a you know reliable seller somewhere. However, I wish you luck with that. Like, I mean, or you could take to Reddit to see if, if people bought, you know, Mortal Blades, see where they got them from. You still queuing the same dude again and again? Oh, uh, trust me, I do. I do, I was fighting the same blood on stepping Rapier guy over and over again, and then I just finally was like, ah, you know what, I can't beat him. I can't beat him, he's not fun to fight, I'm not actually gonna improve fighting him, so... I just blocked him so I don't have to fight. And that's, honestly, that's some advice I would give you, like, if you don't want to fight someone again, just block him. It's not worth your sanity. Because you wanted to deal with them again, and of course, you know, I get, you know, someone much worse may come along, but, you know, it's better than fighting him again. Hello. Found one on Amazon? Hell yeah. It's 168. It's not too bad. Power of Devil Sword Dante. I mean, granted, I bought you know I bought my Marasama for like thirty dollars, and I bought my Yamato for like eighty. 
I was trying to find something around like that. That price range. This is kind of level because I bought a spirit from a certain store on there called Ragnarok Sin. It's an amazing damn spirit. Uh, you got, you know, there are some actually good sellers on Etsy, but there's still, you know, some sus stuff that you gotta watch out for. Th those are normal metal colored. No, Marisama's red. Hello, dude. Dark Souls 3 back steps. Ah! It seems unreliable because it's people selling the items, same reason EBA is unreliable. Exactly. You get good stuff from both, but it doesn't mean the risk of the scam isn't increased. Yeah, and you gotta, you, again, you have to be very careful with what you buy on stuff like that. Like, check all the reviews. If it's all five-star reviews, something is wrong. Because people make mistakes. People make mistakes. There's no way someone's perfect. So keep them, if they're all, like, the, you know, say the same thing. Like, watch out for the reviews. If it's all five stars, something's wrong. Because, you know, someone's going to be dissatisfied with the product. Someone's going to be dissatisfied, leave a, you know, a bad review. And, you know, those make sense. But if it's all five star reviews, something's something's wrong. You go to Smoldering Lake. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! You go to Smoldering Lake and you see the lava. Oh, hold up. You're on to something. Stop the rock. Can't stop the rock. You 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 can't stop the rock. I've stopped the rock. It's a Havel cosplay in 2023. And this, I found a $50 Yamato. That doesn't sound too bad. This guitar is a hundred, but that's cheap because cheap guitars are bad. Like say it was AI, those look real. I mean, hey, people can write fake reviews. All right, let's go. All right, we got to see Smoldering Lake. This is gonna look either awesome or very stupid. Not the reviews, I mean. Hmm. The players. Oh no 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 no! It's not AI. No, when I say someone, when I, when I talk about someone play, you know, w looking like an AI, I mean like they play like a robot, like they don't play like a, no, you know, like a normal human being. Alright, let's see, did it actually do the textures here, and I'm disappointed. It, it still looks the same. It still looks exactly the same. Hold up, Demon King's still here. Maybe it changed Demon King's, te uh, <clears throat> Demon King's textures. Let's go check it out. Great Swamp Kukulis. Go down to just the lava. Alright, I'll check it out. Okay, let's see. Are you still fiery orange? Yes, you are. Let's see if I even remember still, you know, how to fight you. Back when bosses were so simple. Ah, every time I'm sickened by that though. Actually, I beat a Dark Souls 3 boss in 2023. Huh. Got 
Oh, there's just lava down the demon ruins. Alright, I'll go check it out. I'll go down there and check it out. Where that one talisman is. There's a, a certain talisman down there that... It's the white hair talisman. I think you can cast sorceries and incantations. I mean, pyromancies, if I remember correctly. Or vice versa. Or like, pyromancies and incantations. I mean, miracles. It's miracles in the skin. Also, I think the lava textures are different from the actual, like, fire textures, like on the bonfires and whatnot. Because the embers are still... Well, actually, no, the embers falling off of me are blue. The one that has 4.5 stars and no reviews. Well, that definitely does not sound suspect at all. Oh, wait, no, they're shooting out blue fire. They're orange with the shooting out blue fire. Okay, hold up. If I remember correctly, the lava is actually this way. You should find like the fair lady's corpse over here. And to the left of it's a little lava. And we are disappointed. So let me take a step in it. Okay, the fire off of that's still blue though. What about a torch or a pyromancy flame? Pyromancy flame's blue. Torch? Torch is blue. That's actually awesome. That's actually so cool. Like, look at that. Hmm. Cross, come on, man! This one in the mortal blade. Well, hey, man, I'm, I'm telling you, you gotta be careful with what you find. Like on, you know, on, on the internet. Cause you never know what someone's gonna try to sell you. Also, uh, um, <laughs> um. Uh, I can explain. I, uh, I can explain. Actually, no, I can't. I can't explain it all. On a website called TrueKatana.com? Yes, that is definitely not a skin. And selling Mortal Blade? I, I wouldn't commit to anything right now. I'd wait. Yeah, you know, Nomad, once upon a time, in this game, I was I played your role. I once played your role. Cause I had a, a mod called the the uh, honest merchant mod. It's two hundred and fifty dollars, damn. They are trying to take your money. Also I don't know if Wex Dust still works or not. However, I think like meta level invasions would just take you to Pawns, if anyways. Yeah, yeah, man. I was one, I was once a merchant, once a humble merchant. Well, I say merchant, but I really just someone when someone needed something, I was like, hey, take it. I got three hundred dollars. Well, don't waste it on a katana, dude. Put it back, save it for when you need it. Because you, you never really know when you're going to need that money. Like when that money could come in handy. So yeah, definitely keep a hold of it. And plus, I would wait till you find one that's like, you know, set in stone, you're going to get it. Yes, you're not going to get robbed out of your money. Cause like, oh, oh, okay. I know people have like problems with Amazon as a company, but they're the most reliable like ship, you know. They're the most reliable company that I've been able to get my weapons from. Oh, it's this guy again. Buy some games that are on sale, you can do that. Oh, I accidentally kicked. 
I accidentally kicked instead of our ones. Unfortunate. Oh well. Oh well. You have it all the katanas on Amazon are over one hundred, two hundred dollars. I'm well, even five hundred. Well, that's probably that's probably like an authentic, like actual sharpened blade. I'll tell you what, I have a magazine where you can order, you know, weapons and whatnot. If you want to order one out of this, I can like send you the link and whatnot. Cause this is a authentic katana, authentic handcrafted katana with a sharp blade for about two hundred eighty dollars. Okay, never mind. That's two hundred eighty dollars. Got clapped by Ricardo again. I did. Ricardo clapped my cheeks. Ricardo ate my ass at lobster fest. Not quite bit. It's really not how I wanted to go out. I found a good one. Oh, what you got? What you got? Share with the class. I think I made a mistake. Okay, hold up. I gotta fix stream and stuff. I think game's game's dying. All right, we're good. Oh, that thing. I remember. I remember lightning arrow. I remember it all too well. Ma'am, you can R1 spam someone else, not me. Perry? Perry? A little delayed, and that's in skill. <laughs> My god. Do an Xavier Renegade Angel impression? I don't think I can, man. That's not an impression I have enough time with. I can do the, uh, Ah, goo, la good. But you know that's I don't that's not close, but it's a substitute. I mean, of course, you know I could do muscle man, but I mean every, everyone's probably tired of hearing that one. 168 reviews. Some saying it's bad. Some saying it's amazing. Just mixed reviews. 4.5 stars, but not lower accurate. It's just a basic red katana. It's basically just like my Marasama. What kind of messages have I left here? Save zone, an actual good message. Okay, this was during my villain arc. Stay calm. I put that one in front of Pontiff. Visions of friendship. Don't know where. If only I had a chest, that was definitely in Guinevere's room. And praise the door. I think the trickiest part would be mimicking his weird speech patterns. Yeah, that's something I could just knock you down. 34. 34, sir. What are you talking about 34 for? Oh! I am. About to be one with God. Me and God are about to be meeting. I remember we're punishing like greatsword R ones. Oh. I mean, I see your funny straight sword. Alright, uh, let's check it out, no man. Let me take a look at it. I'll tell you if it's worth uh, worthwhile. However, my phone is about dead, so may not be a good idea. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Young Lee Sword Sekiro Shadows Dutch Wife, twice. Okay, oh, that's that's Wolf's Blade. Okay, so that's Wolf's Blade. That's just a red Mortal Blade, a reddish, you know, generic red katana. I mean, it's close, to, it's close enough to Mortal Blade, you might be able to... I mean, it's not bad at all. Hmm. Oh.
Oh no, you're like, hold up, that thing's sharp. You're gonna get sharp. You're getting an actual, like, bladed katana, by the way. Just letting you know. Hello, Ricardo. Did you just hop on DS3? That I did. Elden Ring got to be a little bit too much for me. So I was like, ah, right, you know what? Let's go back in time. You get a glimpse in, in the days of old. Why they make the backstab whiff so much slower in Elden Ring? DS3 is so much faster? I, I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Oh, that's probably why right there. Also, Virgil, I don't know if you saw some of the mods, but you see, this is modded in DS3. See, they, they, let, they let me mod, they let me cook. I think I got one that you may or may not be fond of. Let me find my katanas. So what are your thoughts and opinions on this? Good to go away, good night, stay motivated. Ah, right, good night, Virgil. Take it easy, man. Appreciate you for coming out, though. But before you go, one little look at it. <laughs> the Yamato. It's the Yamato. In all its glory. Tell you what, let's, let's go. Let's go old school. Battle axes were actually kind of goaded in DS3. At least the Millwood was pretty good. Downloading this one tomorrow? Hell yeah, Virgil. I can send you the link if you need me to. It's on Nexus, all you gotta really do is search. Search uh, DS3 mods, Yamato, or Virgil. Because it's actually a mod that like, recolors some armors to be uh, Virgil's armor. Oh, this is a new one. This is a new contender. Hello. New ass. Whoa. Ah, you, don't, you didn't have the poise to do an Elden Ring. And this is why uh, great swords were very good. Here. Here. I miss. I was missing the incorrect sword garden. No one's really gonna notice that. They probably. Uh, how's the Mortal Blades garden? In the game look because I can't remember I know it's is it like flowered kind of like a flower or is it just straight also Elden Ring backstab whiffs to a staggering zero poise damage so it's a very very worthless attack because if you whiff you're pretty much done for let's get a little swifty with it a raw bend snipe why do I have this I think it's maybe my best bet. I would look into it, do more research on it if you want to, and then just you know decide if that's what you actually want to do or not. So it's incredibly easy to be punished on failed attempt. Yeah, even more like it's it's bad, man. Like backstabs are about worthless. Backstabs are nearly worthless in Elden Ring because if you whiff a backstab, God forbid, you know you exist. Because you're gonna eat something huge, like a spell, or even as we saw, as we saw from uh, that one, you know, the clip at the end of the video today. The back, yeah, he whiffed a backstab to get punished by a backstab. It's flower shape. This is just pretty standard to get on a garden. Plus, the scabbard isn't, isn't even covered, colored correctly. I mean, yeah. All right, what the fuck is this? What kind of like new age tech is this? Right, also, the connection was a lot worse in, in this game than in the Elden Ring. Just a uh, heads up. What's going on? Please don't take a muscle man, mom. <laughs> Alright, Corey, welcome to the stream, bud. Hope you're doing alright tonight. We're, uh. You can see the game looks a little bit different, you know. It's, uh. I swap games midstream. 
because I said it was going to go to a five hour stream, so I figured we'd take a little trip down memory lane since we actually hit, you know, 900 subscribers. Yeah, I hope, hope you've been alright, Corey. Hope you've had a good day, man. Sure. Piling the scalpel with the black oil will probably fix it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, hell, you can get a fix. Hello. What is on your head? Your head is Ricardo Milos. Time is up, my time is up. People don't realize to keep that thing on me. I keep that motherfucking thing on me. Ah, damn. Thanks for all you're doing. I'm doing pretty good, man. You know, it was just. We had 900, 900 subscribers on stream, and. Ah, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. I actually made a video today, if you, you know, if you didn't know. Like, I actually sat down and I was like, ah, right, you know what? I woke up early. I'm gonna make a video. And then, lo and behold, made a video. It's doing surprisingly well. A video on a weapon that once, you know, plagued the Elden Ring video game. It's really not as strong as it once was, but it's still a very, very strong weapon. I wonder if I have Yorm alive. I wonder if I've killed Yorm in this playthrough. Let me check. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. Tell you what. Do I have Yorm? I do. Damn. Killed your. I wish I could show off Pyromancy, but I don't have any respects left on the save. And I've used all my respects. I used my respects back in October for the uh, DS3 return video, or whenever the service came back up. Eh, great club. If you didn't know, that's actually one of the best heavies in the game. Like, the great club is actually goaded in this game. Very, very solid weapon. Solid weapon, good damage. Weapon art's a bit... I mean, it's war cry, so it's alright. Like, decent. Decently alright. Would you say it's worth it? I mean, maybe. Maybe. You don't know about the respect you use glitch? Uh, you see, I do. I do. It's just the fact of the matter is, is that you can't use the res you know, the respect glitch on character, like facial respects, only stat respects. So like you can, you know, if you can do it, if you do your stats, you can do it, but if you do your, like character's face, you can't do it. This is scared of this game, got it, never played it yet, crazy, right? That's a, I, you still haven't played it? Damn. Honestly, don't let fear consume you. The only thing you have to fear is fear itself. That's a Pontiff Knight Crow Sword. I am... I am feeling violent. Uh, no, uh, uh. I've done it with my character's face plenty of times before. I don't know. I think I've... I tried it. It didn't work. It didn't either, either didn't save my character's face. Or it didn't go through. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I, maybe I do have a respect left. I don't know. Your was so true. 
I mean, yeah, there's really nothing to fear about the game. You know, you may get angry while you're playing it, but at the end of the day, you know, that's just part of it, part of the learning curve. And the difficulty of the games is greatly exaggerated. Like right now, I'm playing uh, Dark Souls 3. This is a, you know, a classic PvP game. This is really where I learned the PvP. And I played a lot of it in prep for Elden Ring. I can kill the Undying now, that you can. You can also make the Divine Air bleed. That's a weapon. It does things. Oh yeah, you also gotta know, like, this combat is way slower. It's also a lot more passive, unfortunately. Ah. And Poise uh, worked in this game. Uh, dude, I nearly got a Barker Bomb in, in the year of our Lord 2023. Ah, it's a weapon art. That was a wake up weapon art. I suppose it's time to say goodbye to him. No, you don't kill him. I'm not making the divine air bleed. No, you got to for the story. Will I kill them? Nah, I won't. It won't kill them, it's just part of the story. To sever the ties of immortality. You need the white, the pure white lotus. You need the blood of the the dragon air to, oh no, no, to not, not to sever, to reach the land where you can sever. You can get the dragon's tears to sever the, you know, immortality and whatnot. You sever the ties to immortality with the dragon tears, you need the divine air's blood, the pure white lotus, and something else to actually sever the ties of immortality. Hello. What if I. Oh no. Will you try to punish me? Hmm. Will you try to punish me? Okay, hold up. I'm gonna get a Barker Bombay tonight. Even if it takes all my fire bombs. Ooh, I don't have no more no more room to really mess around. I thought that if I had the motor blade even wounded anything it killed him. No, I just uh let you the uh divine air bleed. Goodbye und und dying lad. I don't think nobody's would have been paying attention to the story. The modal draw would one shot if that were the case. Indeed. Indeed it would. Boom, patina, tin, tin, boom, patina, tin, tin. Okay, hold up, my, let me use something from old, old times. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm... Ma'am. Menu. The war pick. Oh. The thing about the Warpick though is it didn't have a very good weapon art. It had a uh, stand recovery instead of perseverance. Which kind of kept it from being as good as like the mace, but it's still a solid pick. Some boys. Put us in tooth too. I have no idea. 
I really couldn't tell you. Oh, what the fuck is this general that's been terrorizing me? Ah, uh, good, good luck. Good luck with it, dude. I believe in you. You got it. Also, katanas were kind. They were still very good in this game, but they're just not as good as they were in Elden Ring. Because Unchi, okay, hold up. Actually, I want to use Uchi Katana. I want to use Uchi. Even though I'm a strength build, I will use Uchi. Pardon. Not the Dark Sword. I got one too. Mine just shoots faster. Alright, dude. Yeah, keep, keep messing with me. Alright, he's got the dark, dark sword. Unfortunately, I messed up. I made a mistake. I'm also not spec for the Uchi. I've been humbled. I showed a little ounce of confidence. That's what. That's okay. So that's been a common theme with these streams recently. If I show like any amount of confidence, I get shut down instantly. Like I just get absolutely shut down. Like with Guardian Ape. Guardian Ape Genichiro. Well, first phase Genichiro. Well, first time Genichiro. 1 a.m. Yep. 1.20. And the stream's gonna end after this duel. I think I'm gonna go, like, wipe up the game, you know, wipe up the gamer gunk. And go big chill. Hello, sir. You gonna finish making my current katana before I get the mortar blade? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Are we still alive? And how am I still awake? Good question, Bob Aaron. I don't actually know the paratomics for this. So I'm just kind of like throwing it readily. No, no. No, no. Stop. Pause. Ah, damn. Would start a seal going through two phases of heat treating really been super easy like my dad said? I'm not an expert on that. I never got into like welding or anything like that, so I don't know. Like, you know, if you ask me about plumbing, heating, air, electrical, I can tell you, but welding's the- or maybe cars. Welding is not something that I actually got into. Oh, and hey, French. Welcome to the stream. Hope you didn't tonight. You, uh, you're catching the tail end of this one. Because I'm about to- I'm, I'm gonna try to end on a win and... Go back- or then end it. What have you been playing? This is Dark Souls 3. This is Dark Souls 3, but heavily modded. doesn't even look the same. I mean, look look at it. Is this supposed to be in the game? Or is it not? This is what I wish you could do to Elden Ring. But I can't because of easy anti-cheat. So stream in. I'm, I'm gonna try to end uh, on a win. I wanna get a win before I go off. And a katana period. I want a katana parry so bad. GG dude, this is the one guy with the crossbow. Nah, no, GG dude. GG. 
I got a little too confident there at the end. I tried to throw a fireball match you, but then I ate that rolling R1. It's been a long time since I've actually used the katana. Hey! Give me the parry. You would have won. It was close. It was very close. It would be kind of funny. Oh, that's not funny. I, I want the parry so bad. Just give, just give it to me. Come on, just give me the parry. I stand here and. Ah! You're literally giving it to me for free. Start to punish. The tracking is so choppy. Parry? No, if I just spam it. Parry? Come on. Third time's a charm. If I just walk out slowly. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Let me try again. Let me try again. I love lightning deflexes in Sekiro. I love the sound like the little bell makes when you, when you cast. Come on. No. Tragic. Okay. Give it. Give. Give. I want to get down the parry. <laughs> it's been so long since I've gone for get down the parry. I don't even know why I'm trying. Oh man. It's been way too long. Run out of spear and I'm so fast, bro. But you can get an upgrade that gets you more. You know, yeah, that was a big L. I'm gonna pull my katana to become like a mirror because if you do the do it manually, it takes over seven hours of non-stop training with some gel stuff. Ah, oh, nah. Yeah, that's a no-go. That's gonna take way too long. I wouldn't even mess with it. Let me put my drill back on. Max is twenty. I mean, that that's still a lot. Like you could still use a lot of your prosthetics and get away with it. Like you mods, you thank you. They're uh, they're plentiful. You spot them every now and again, yeah. And also, so you don't like run out of uh, you know, send. Ah, uh, send farm. This guy always got the spots you showed me. You only farm spirit and limbs. Nah, you can buy them. She showed me this uh, send, the send farm. I thought about actually going and doing it. But never actually went, went and did it, you know? Because I got two soundtracks in the game. They increase gradually. Gradually? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have to look at the clip she sent me, then I'll, I'll tell you. I'll be able to tell you. Hello? Where's, where's my opponent? Where are you? Hello. Hello, Katana Understander. Well... It's like a ton of this is why, Andrew. What a hell of a way to start this fight. What a hell of a way to end the stream. Main whole idol is a good form. I think that might have been might have been the one she told me about. Or showed me. I could I could take a look at the clip she sent me. Tomorrow I'll be I'll be doing nothing but working like a talent. Hell yeah, man. I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Because I want to take Fridays to like be an off, like a community day. And that voice was a fun stream. It was a good one. It was a good one. We know we saw some Elden Ring duels. Uh, saw me suffer with the Gideon cosplay. And we actually got to see some Elden Ring. I mean, DS3. Been a long time since, we've seen this, since I've seen this. I've actually never streamed DS3 before. Tell me something that will make my katana unique. Uh, I'll tell you what. Say what? Soak, soak the wood of the handle in whiskey. Don't, don't trust me. Just trust me on it. But yeah, it's been real and it's been fun. I hope you all have a good night, and I will see you in a normal time. Uh, let me just tab out so the stream doesn't explode. Yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all later.